It's time once again for Zero Page Homebrew. Oh, I can hear myself. There we go. Um, so welcome. I can still hear you. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I can hear you too. Okay. Good. <laughs> <laughs> um, welcome to Friday, and welcome to Zero Page, where we play new games on classic consoles. Well, one classic on console. On a classic console. <laughs> this one. Atari 2600, yes, from 40 years ago. Welcome to the show. Welcome, everybody, in... Uh, live land in uh, Twitch in the chat. Mr. Fix is there. Thrust 26. I Sposta. And everybody else that is just lurking around and not typing, welcome to them too. Uh, we're going to play a bunch of games today. All right. Uh, that we've never played before. We've got four work in progress games, all different genres. We've oh. got a platformer, a puzzle, a shooter. And the Tanya uh, hogged up all the puzzles. I'm I am honored to, yeah. to play one of the puzzle games. <laughs> yes, I usually <laughs> play the puzzles with her. And an adventure game called Lost Cat. Oh, so we have got, have to find the cat, and hopefully Atari We're, and Pixel okay. can help us find the cat. I'm hoping. We'll see. They they know better where cats hide. Yeah, they tend to find other cats with their noses, and I'm not. Do you have the new? Uh, the new module that has For smells? smells? Oh, it hasn't come yet. Okay. Yeah, it's coming soon. Um, uh, so the puzzle game is called Kuru Kuru Tsuchinoko. If I'm saying that right, Tsuchinoko. Uh, and then we've got a shooter called Simple Horizontal Shooter, which I'm sure is a temporary name. Because <laughs> it's not super catchy, but sometimes accurate descriptions are the best are the best yes hey dan avc welcome and also our platformer is called castle of doom oh yes so beware and uh and i want to thank all the twitch subscribers as well that uh contribute to the show and help us out buy new games and new equipment and all that and put uh I don't know, coffee in our bellies, except for mine. <laughs> it doesn't buy any coffee. <laughs> <laughs> it buys games. It buys games. Games alone. Uh, Atari Spot, uh, Tasty Sandwich, Charles and Check, Gretams, Ground Trooper, I Sposta, Mr. Fix, Muddy Funster, Retro Happy Hour. That's a new one. And Tiki Dan K, who's Dan Kitchen. Um, and you can contribute too for free if you have Amazon Prime. You just click subscribe somewhere around somewhere where it says it. the corner where it says it in Twitch. And if you've got your Amazon and Twitch linked up, which you should, just click subscribe and it's free for you and it helps out the show. So that's super awesome. Not much in the way of news because it's been two days and not much happens in two days. And I've been really busy, so I haven't been able to find out. But I've been watching uh, the homebrew Chaotic Grill, which is burger time. For the 2600 mm. and in burger time for 2600 the original was terrible so yeah, yeah. somebody somebody's remaking it yeah we played that last time right we, we, we did the, play it before the not Ooh. a game yeah the not a game you just wander version, around yeah. he's got it so you can be killed now ah and the burger everyone likes to have that <laughs> hanging over their heads <laughs> yes except me oh and um and splendid nut is uh, the person who's programming it. He ah. just popped in, and he said knife, and then he said nice. <laughs> um, but, yeah, he hasn't implemented the pepper to stop them, because that's your offense of weapon. Um, but he has implemented the burgers. When you walk across them, it squishes them down. Um, so he's got a lot of the elements going. Um, and I just made a comment in, in the forums about... Um, he should look at Mappy for a good uh, flicker management method because when multiple things are on the same line, I think I've probably talked to you about this before, mm -hmm. you can have two maximum because that's all it has. The Atari 2600 is two without flashing. That means it can do both of them at 60 hertz, right, right. which is not flashing for our eyes. Right. When you have more than two, you have to share time between one of the two objects. So those are going at 30 now if they're and flashing. it's only evenly. useful if you're a ghost. Yes, and you want to be... Pac-Man and you want to be all flickery. Woo! Yes, so as you add more and more, so if you have four, then you have to have two that are at 30 hertz each, and add more and more and more. But if they're on their own line, or two are on their own line, the, you don't have to have them flickering at all. Right. So he hasn't implemented flicker management yet, so that would be a big improvement. 
And there's a lot of people we can reach out to for um, getting that information. And Mappy is a real, like, it's kind of close to his, where you're on different levels, walking around. Um, so I think he could talk to the programmer of that, which is John Champeau. And he could find out a lot of information. And you're very welcome, Splendid Nut. Um, but it, right now it looks really good. Like the oh, graphics yeah, yeah. themselves. It, and it was it was really, I was really impressed, yeah. And I was very um, amazed to find out that all the burger parts are drawn with Playfield. Um, and Playfield is four pixels across minimum. And it's, um, so it's usually chunky graphics, yeah. but like the lettuce and the bun and everything, yeah, they, they looked good. They're quite, they're wide enough to do that. Yeah. And if, and he's changed the color on each of the layers of mm -hmm. the bun. So it looks great. It yeah. looks amazing. It looks amazing. Yeah. Yeah. So those don't have to interfere with the players. Hmm. So it's, it's really, really well done. And yeah. I can't wait to, we'll play, we'll play it again. Probably when it's at a stage where you know, you can get advanced levels, you have the pepper, and everything's kind of working. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll bring that back on the show for sure. But let's get uh, right into the games. And the first one up is Kurukuru Tsuchinoko. And All it, right. <laughs> it is a puzzle puzzle game. Kurukuru Tsuchinoko. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. I took like three classes of Japanese. <laughs> and I went to Japan once. But which usually, which the classes or the going to Japan made your Japanese the best? Uh, no, no, the classes. The classes. Um, it's actually a very interesting language. It's it's all fragmented the way that you pronounce it, so you can learn pretty quick how to pronounce Japanese from the English spelling. Anyway, everything is one or two consonants or three maybe, and a vowel. It always ends on vowels, so. Kuru, kuru, tsu, chi, no, ko. So it's always this fragmented thing. So kuru, kuru, tsu, chi, no, ko is how you would think. I think I'm not an expert. Not even close. English, please. That's, uh, yeah, I don't know what the English is. So somebody <laughs> could, if somebody could um, throw it into Google Translate or something, I, I didn't do that. But that might uh, translate it, so... But this is a puzzle game, so let's get that started. Um, if you want to pick up the joystick there, Darcy, please. I'll get the graphic and bring it towards you <laughs> and do a lot more than that. Okay, so go down to 10.05 or go up to 10.05, which would be faster. And the first one and that one. And this is... I think only a couple days old. Uh, make sure we have volume here. And we're all good there. So the first release of this was put out December 30th, 2016. And this version of it was uploaded. So this one's a little bit older. Um, March 22nd, 2017, so it's like a year and a half old, um, and is made by Mojo Filter, I think that's how you'd say it, M-O-J-O-F-L-T-R, Mojo Filter, eh, close enough. The yeah. font here, font, <laughs> sorry, the font here is yes. different. Oh, that's probably an old gameplay, right, um, so... Go for it. This is made in uh, Batari Basic. Control. Press the fire button to start the game. Press the fire button to change the direction of rotation. That's the, all the instructions. Oh. And I like it. I'm not <coughs> doing well, but I like it. And you don't have to continuously press the button. I did play this for like uh, a millisecond. So you have to kind of... You're always rotating. There you go. Oh. So you're always going in a circle. Suchinoko is a Japanese snake-like mythical creature. Oh, so you're controlling the snake. <laughs> there you go. Okay, good. Oh. So it goes, it goes, it counter-rotates from where it is. Okay, so if it's at the bottom, it'll rotate 
you can't go back, can you? Can you like, yeah, you could, right? If you pressed it on, okay, okay, okay. This is one of those games where the hardest thing about it is the controls. <laughs> and I'm not so sure that I'm a fan of those games, but oh! at that point, it's almost more like a puzzle when to press the button. Um, other games he has made, and we've played this be these before. Um, he did Mind Dig which we played you have to rescue the person underground. He made Danny, which I haven't done. He, had, he did a version of Hunt the Wumpus. I'm not sure which one he did, but we played those. And No Touchy, which we have not played. And I've got some more information here. You keep on with the information. I haven't figured this out yet. Okay. And somebody says a Google translation of something. I'm no, not sure where he... They got the Google translation of it because I didn't see anything posted in Japanese. Um, okay, come on, cat. Get. Oh, the cat is trouble. Trouble. Uh, hello. Thank you to try my game. Oh. oh no. <laughs> thank you to try my game. There is no story. No. Oh. It is a video game. Are not novel. Otherwise, you'll feel stupid. Control. You start the game by pressing a button on the joystick. Press the button on the joystick to change the direction of rotation. Do enjoy yourself. You lose the game. Please do not swallow the laundry detergent. The cat name of my cat is Calvin. The other name of my other cat is Hobbs. Please be careful when driving. You might get spilled here. Are you having a good day? I think this is a joke. Because <laughs> that's ridiculous. Kudo Kudo indicates something spinning around and around. So that's, that's a perfect description of this. Um, um, the mythical snake-like creature spinning around and around. No! <laughs> come on! Why you are you spinning in the wrong spot? Level one, come on. We gotta get... Come on. So you want to press it in the middle of its rotation? Yes. To get well, you want perfect... to push it in the middle of the direction you want to go. Oh, okay. Oh, but you wanted to be over a bit more on that one, right? Yes. Do not think that what happens on screen <laughs> constitutes, uh, uh, you know, insight into what I wanted to happen. <laughs> you don't want to die repeatedly? <laughs> no, I don't. Before finishing level one? <laughs> no! <laughs> you will have to hand it over at some point. At some point. When Pixel See, finally decides he wants to play. Oh. My timing is apparently... No. Okay. No. Unless you're meaning to do that. Whoa. Perfect. No. Oh. 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 There you go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, if I've been watching correctly... Oh, nope. Nope. Yeah, I meant to do that. I didn't mean to do that. I don't think I quite get it yet. Uh, Is it just want, hard to time it? You want to time it for when it is at the direction. From If you draw a line from the center to yes. where it is, you, you press it when it's when that line would would get you where you want to go. Oh, it stinks. Meaning. If you want okay, it to go... I can go take like, care of that. <laughs> you mean the cat poop, not <laughs> yes. the game. No. To be clear, he's not talking about the game. It's the cat poop. It's that there is a cat poop stink. Oh. Don't worry, I'll keep you entertained. I'm going to play with my eyes closed. <laughs> no, that... that. <laughs> Or drive my eyes closed. Yeah! <laughs> I mean, I open them, but after I press the button, okay? <laughs> sort of. <laughs> oh! <laughs> okay. 
back at it. Maybe button smashing helps? Hmm. Should we try I actually it? like it. Let's turn I, on the mega fire. I like it. It's just hard. <laughs> nope. It does not help. Oh. You just, it's that you have to be precise. And it's... No. It, what do you mean, no? <laughs> I, I, I was doing quite well after I practiced for a while. Okay. And by quite well, I mean I eventually got <laughs> almost all the way. So if I so go straight down, I'm going to die. You don't go straight down. You go off on a tiny bit of an angle. Like that. Yeah. Okay. Trust me, your rage will not help you with this game. <laughs> it won't? No. Oh, okay. Unlike most games, rage doesn't help with this one. Oh, it's too far. It's like barely enough room. That's, that's, it's a game. It's not a fun time activity. <laughs> Grr! <laughs> See, I get the enjoyment out of you not immediately destroying all of my... Uh... <laughs> oh... <laughs> All your scores? I, I was just noting that I don't know what my score was. <laughs> <laughs> you got all of them, right? You got five. I, got, I think I I may have gotten five, but I may have only Good gotten tapping. four. I get very close to five. Uh, which, oh. Oh, okay. Um, maybe? I think, I gotta say, I think that was luck. <laughs> <laughs> it seemed like not luck. Yeah. I think you just happened upon the, the correct... Uh, it's hard place. It's hard doing that, that's for sure. Like, continuously pressing. Because you have to first start flying. No. No, it's really hard. Obviously, you're not completely meant to do the tapping. Like, over and over and steer it that way, because he does stop. Like, he does a little circle. But if you're skilled enough, you could do that. That's for sure. But it, it is... Do you think there's like... Partial? It seems to be like in jumps. Like definite... Um, you can movements. go on an angle, obviously. Because that's where the trouble comes in. Is that you've done it on an angle. Right. It's like one, two... There seems to be eight directions, eight possibilities each time, right? Up, down, left, right, and then the corners. Oh. I want to see level two. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> hard to even get it straight across like yeah. the red should be there right in the circle the red should be on the right hand side perfectly to go to go straight you want to go straight you wait till it's like that uh, yeah. okay until you wait at it's at 40 at the 90 degree yeah so i have to go kind of at the 45 just a tiny bit you can go you can go straight and you would have okay. gotten it because it covers all that area now I have to go on a down slight angle and over one. Yeah, and it's not. There's a lot of there's a lot of rain. It doesn't just. It's not. It's not eight directions. It's like it's more. It it's seems. way more than eight. Yeah, that's the point. <laughs> it's that you really can go on a. Uh, you can end up anywhere. Yeah, that makes it. It makes it better. Frustrating. Well, not that frustrating. Ah <laughs> ha! <laughs> At position 3 p.m., tap four times. Um, technically, yes. It, it's hard oh. enough to time it once tapping it. I can't imagine tapping it. I did, like, I did it wrong. Is that it? Like tapping it perfectly timed each time. Like that's harder. Like, see, I couldn't even do it once. See, I'm trying to go straight across, but... Like, if I go over one to the right, I'm going to die. Don't go one. Go on a... You want to go that way. Right. You made it. <laughs> barely. Yeah, but barely, yeah. but barely is enough. That's... 
Okay. Now you, okay. you have to go down again, and right. not on a 45, but uh, on a more straight of an down. angle, right? Not straight. You could have gone straight. Yeah. But it's hard to go straight, so it's better to like edge away from the wall a little bit. So you got to go on an angle dip. Yeah. Yeah. Now you can now go, it can go straight down. If you go straight, you can go straight. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so close. Seventeen fifty. Mm. I imagine that that's what I had. Uh, I think you got the last one though. I I can't remember. I'm pretty sure because that was why I was so frustrated that you almost made it to the end. I think we're getting better at least. <laughs> that's the. <laughs> yeah, we are definitely getting better. Oh. oh. Oh, continues. Your score continues. Okay. Doesn't start over. Die. Yeah. Yeah, because you continued on with your score. Oh. Yeah. But on these, this type of game, I don't care much about score. I care about levels when there's distinct puzzle levels. Pressing with a rhythm may work. Mm, not for it does us. work. It, it does. will absolutely work because it's moving at a regular rate. Yeah. And so you can it, know from time where it is. You, you, that's why I was trying to do it with my eyes closed. Oh. I was joking, but I wasn't. I looked at it, and I tried to time it, and I did terribly. But. <laughs> I mean, we could try that. Like, you could try it again, but I think it's really hard. Maybe, maybe it's easier. I don't know. Because it's like snake, 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 press, press, press. But Okay, here it is. Oh, you know what? Oh. Doing it quickly, doing it quickly is a factor. Because I got twelve fifty and I got one more than you did. Oh. oh no! I did that on my first one. That's why. Right. Yeah. 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 Okay. I get it. Yeah. I see. I see your point that you keep your score. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna try and do the snaky thing. <laughs> so you have to even start. No, oh, oh. one more. One more. <laughs> I'm playing. I'm playing around. It's hard. <laughs> yeah. Don't give up just because you don't have immediate success. <laughs> That's what I do. That's my thing. The beta is posted on YouTube two years ago, and it shows the movement as sine waves, not circles. It goes like this, like continuously moving. This, well, this is the newest one that I could find. Anyway, here. if there's anything new newer but i don't think so like this is newer than two years ago this is a year oh. and a half with this one. Oh. Oh, oh 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 you missed your turn <laughs> and this is d5 <laughs> and the one that he posted is d4 So let oh. me look at D4 quickly on here. No. Nope. Okay, he's playing it. Yeah, okay. He's playing it like press, 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 press. Like this is the guy who made the game. Right? Mm -hmm. So he's playing it like a snake. Press, 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 press. And he's kicking ass. But he made the game, so of course he's kicking ass. He does stop, he does not, sometimes stops to, to spin around and then change direction. It's so we're playing it on slow mode. <laughs> yeah. I mean, doing it that way, you have to, um, you have to, you have to get, you have rhythm. to get used to which direction it's going to go. And one year ago. Okay. For some reason, it sometimes surprises me and it turns the way I wasn't expecting. I don't know why. It goes back and forth, but <laughs> still. Uh. <laughs> you have to, like, hit wide. it. You have to hit it before it starts around. Otherwise, you have to stop. Yeah. Once it... It's, it's like that. It's quite... 
it's hard. It's hard doing that way too. Oh my god. This is just better. a hard game. In general. Like no! <laughs> <laughs> maybe we're just both useless at this type of game well that's a guarantee because we are you can't even beat level one i need to try one more time after this are you doing the snaky thing like yeah no no don't just stop it just do it stop doing it wrong <laughs> no uh, one more time otherwise i'll never get Oh no! <laughs> it apparently uh, didn't help. <laughs> no, it's it 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 doesn't. <laughs> oh, it it does slight movements. Oh my god! The thing is, despite despite all the yelling, I like it. I like that there's one button. I I, yeah, I, I like that. It's a really good one button game. Yeah. Like it would translate really well into a phone game. It probably probably is a phone game somewhere. Yeah. Hmm. Wow, you could not have done that if you tried. <laughs> I know. It's exactly perfect. Yeah, it's exactly imperfect. <laughs> there we go. Imperfect, yes. Exactly what I don't want to have happen. See it almost happened again. Oh what? We have to complete the first level. This is too embarrassing. <laughs> Isn't it? Uh, it is. If I worried about embarrassment, I, would, uh, <laughs> I wouldn't have come back after the first shell. <laughs> <laughs> Playing in parallel made it to level two. Nobody cares! <laughs> <laughs> we suck. Ah! One more and then I'm adding back to you. <laughs> oh. It's not that we don't know what to do. It's that it's hard. Needs, yeah, it does need to be much easier. Like level one is, your level one should be like tutorial, easy to do. I don't know. Possible the thing to is, mess up. Because but... there's only one button, I don't know that it needs to be easier to begin with. Uh, it needs to be slower. I think, yes. <laughs> Even harder than my games. Oh. No! <laughs> I get another try after this. Because <laughs> I, I mixed up my two styles of play and it did oh, not. Okay. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. That was close. You can do it. Perfect spot. You're right in the middle. I can't mess it up. Yeah! <laughs> oh my god. No! Instant death, last man. Oh. Oh. Well, at least we made it to level two and we're tied with uh, Thomas there. Or you made it to level two. I didn't make it to level two. I haven't even tried the joystick. I'm sure it does nothing, but um... it could be the it could be the button. No, it's reacting properly. Yeah, but it's kind of big and chunky, and <laughs> it, it kind of feels like a... I don't no, know. it's reacting totally properly. I'm I'm a bad carpenter. I <laughs> blame my tools. You are. Furthest I've ever made it. Of course. Instant death. I should never say that while I'm playing. Oh, I'm doing so good. Yeah, I, I, Every time. I don't understand why you would. Ever. <laughs> Maybe you just don't have an innate sense of irony. Apparently. <laughs> and what it can do to, to oneself. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh! At least it's funny laughing at you two. Well, yeah, we are, at least we're doing that. <laughs> we're not succeeding at this game. One more try and then we move on. Yes. Oh, level three, go away, Thrust 26. you. Oh my God. <laughs> are you doing the snake version of it? Or are you doing like how we're doing it? Like a, the kid's method. Oh, come on. Honestly, that button feels imprecise to me. Like delayed? Like just that there's- It's yeah, working there's, every time you're pressing it. It does, but like, it's like, it feels like I have to try hard to, to like, it feels like I have to hit it hard in order to get it to like go in the direction I want it to go. Otherwise. Oh, what? No. Well, it's, it is a big chunky button. But I like, I like, I like this style of button. Because you know you pressed it. I can do it. By breaking the rules, you can, you know. By breaking the, the pact. <laughs> <laughs> I do like you do, just oh. better. <laughs> Only better. <laughs> Only way better. So much gooder. Mm. Just think. Oh, you beat my score. Cat fights. Hey! Psst, 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 psst. No, why do I do that? <laughs> Nobody knows. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's it. Display lag. <laughs> no. Darcy can blame it on that. No, I I I blame it on the button. Not it's too chunky. It's too big. Way too big a button. You know that you pressed it. It's it's nice yeah. and big and chunky. But when I press the button and when it triggers are not the same thing is what I'm getting at. It's it's weighty enough that it like slows down my press. I have to like anticipate. Time. I can't just press the button when I want it to go. I have to press it ahead of when I want it to go. <laughs> it does spin very fast. Break up that cat fight. He's biting the neck of the cat. I want that neck. Give me that neck. Give me that neck. Knew it. Okay, come on. Ah, level three, it's a wraparound. Yeah, I did see that on uh, the uh, YouTube gameplay of the creator of the game did that. There's this thing where when I play it and screw it up, that's okay, but when you screw it up, I'm like, what are you doing? Do it better. <laughs> Last try. I'm going to give up defeated and ashamed. You can come back on Wednesday and uh, play it to completion. <laughs> to completion. Oh. I wish I had that much confidence in me. I don't know how many levels there are, but there certainly doesn't need to be that many. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh I think it's, I think it's good. I like it. It is a although, good game. But although it's just I, the controls are I like hard. playing it this way rather than the way that it was intended. With the, <laughs> the snake looking. Ah, ah. Okay. And that is Kurukuru Tsuchinoko, <laughs> which is bloody hard. It's hard. And uh, Thomas has gotten to level three, and he says it's hard too. Um. Yeah, it is hard. It needs to be easier. Psst, 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 psst. What is... They're still fighting. Oh my goodness. So the next game we're going to be playing, I think it's a simple... Do I have it on the right one? Yep. Simple horizontal shooter. And I think this was more meant as a demo game. Hold down the button. Atari Vox. <laughs> Atari Vox. Have they always been hearing that? Yes. 
<laughs> we just haven't been hearing it. I didn't, I didn't know I did that. Yeah. <laughs> it's just been silent for us. But also, we've been missing all the voices in the games yeah, that yeah. had them. It was kind of <clears throat> sucky. But, you know, we progress. Okay, so go down to today's. Let's load it up. And this is done by Random Terrain, who has a lot of instructionals on Atari 2600 programming on the internet. Yes, I do have a Chris Reed game later on today. Oh, look at that. Oh, you've already started. It is a game with a ship. So it doesn't start until you start. Shooting. That's kind of cool. I've never seen that before. Well, you have every game, every game that says press trigger to start. Yeah, but you can't move you. Yeah, it's, it, it is. It is, is. It is novel in that way for sure. So it's like, okay, enemies, come at me now. <laughs> this one's pretty loud. So hopefully that's a good level. Oh, you died it. So this one was uh, put out on September 28th, 2018, oh and it was the first... You just hold um, the button down. That's a good thing. Makes it a lot easier. Oh, a little loud here. I'm going to have to turn this down a little bit. There you go. What did you do? I did nothing and you died or something. No. You have a green bar. And what happens when it runs out? Uh, you die. Um, I've been meaning to make something like this in oh. 2008 when I found out that the that the icing on the cake oh. didn't have to be a, a disadvantage. Other stuff kept getting in the way when I wasn't being forgetful or lazy. Since I'm going to be moving soon, it's hard to concentrate on anything major. So I took a couple days and made this little program while I had the chance. It's unfinished and I'm not sure about the sound effects, but it's good enough to show people. And at the moment, you can move your ship in all directions, but it doesn't seem to be necessary. Uh, I'll probably remove the ability to move left and right in the next version, which I think is... I've played this a little bit, and you don't have a lot of reason to move left and right. Up and down is enough. I mean, why remove it if you don't have to have it, so... So, continue on with instructions. Press the fire button to shoot, or flip the level difficulty to A to shoot without needing to press the fire button. The enemies will get harder to destroy the longer you play. They are worth 20 points. A bonus item will appear once in a while. It is worth 100 points. The bar to the right of the score will decrease if the enemies get past you, past your ship, or if your ship hits them. Game is over when the bar is gone. Ah. I get it. So don't miss any ships. So it's not about... It's, it's like... Better to miss a ship than die, but uh, other than that, you must shoot all the ships. Yeah. And the bonus is only for points. It doesn't increase your um, missing thing. It doesn't replenish. No. Okay, so don't go for that then. If you Yeah, that's why I went for it is because I thought that it was going to replenish. But yeah, because I think the thing doesn't deplenish its... It's it's hit points. Oh, okay, it's shield. Or it's, it's like being hit by them or them going by you is what happens. Is how it happens. I got hit and it killed me. So. Uh, yes, but that. And if they get uh, by you, the it only game takes... only ends when the bar runs out. Right. It doesn't end because you have five guys. That's what I'm saying. Uh. So now you carry on and you've lost oh. some health in your bar. Oh. It's not okay. number of. Uh... Okay. So it is the number of ships that get past you. It's the number of ships get like past totally. you and or hit you. Yeah, 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 yeah. essentially. Okay. Yeah, so that's. I think getting hit by them is worse though than them going by you. Like you lose more of a. Chunk. Oh yeah, yeah. Yes, nice laser. Yes, that's why I picked this game. Um, if you take it into Stella and look at what the laser is, it is playfield, and that is really really smart to make the laser playfield, mm. um, and it's totally fine. Like, it looks fine because Playfield goes in chunks of four, like I explained earlier. Yeah, yeah. Um, and not a lot of games use Playfield for that purpose. Um, that's terrible. Um, so that opens up the possibility for using missiles for other things and the ball for other things. And it doesn't use, also doesn't use up, and 
that's game over, right? When you completely lose all your... All the bar, yeah. Okay, 26-20. Yeah, yeah. I think it did pretty good then. The, the thing with the button the, the is that you can click the settings so you don't even have to press the button. It just shoots all the time. Oh, you can change. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Your High sh- score is remembered until the Atari is turned off or the emulator is closed. Right. Now, I included this game, not because it's, like, profound or anything, but because it is a really good base level construction for an ad- a really advanced space shooter. Um, because you're, you're using one of the player's uh, graphics, and the enemies are using another player graphic. If I'm correct. Um, yeah, most likely they are. And the laser shots are done with play field. And so that leaves the ball and the two missiles for other things. And since it's um, vertical like this, you can have multiple ships coming at you on all the levels if you wanted. You could have four ships on the screen at various speeds, which that would be a definite improvement to the game. One thing is have multiple ships on the screen, maybe going slower, obviously, because there's no way you can handle more than one going at this speed. Like, you can't get that and shoot that ship. So you wouldn't be able to shoot two ships coming at you at this speed. It's just too fast. Uh, yeah, the other thing is that the ships get harder to kill as you go up, so you have to hit them more uh, times. Multiple times, yeah. Is that dictated by their color, do you think? Uh, I think it's just by... Just how far you are? Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, they start off with a whole bunch of different colors. It now, just says they get harder to destroy the longer you play. Right. Now, by not using the ball that opens it up that he could use the ball for a star field in behind to have some kind of parallax scrolling um, which would make this game look gorgeous amazing amazing game. the other thing I noticed is that the ships that you kill you are must be uh, atomizing them <laughs> because they they are destroyed from the nose back oh they don't yes. just disappear they're like they get eaten up like they were on a nose for fire. Yeah. Or if you're turning them into something else. That's right. Transmogrify. Transmogrify. <laughs> into space dust. Um, also, I obviously weapon pickups would be good. Like a dual laser, triple laser, that kind of thing. So you had a bit of more of a spread when shooting. And also, these are kind of, they're kind of positional. It's not, you don't get to move completely up and down. It's like spots, it seems. No, they're absorbed. (laughs) Thomas knows. They get absorbed into themselves, into space. Absorbed into your laser, Um, I guess. You have melty lasers. Uh, Mr. Fix, it says in here, uh, what's it say? Random terrain today, at, random terrain added today when I talked to him. Oh, yes. Is that yeah. you? Yeah, I talked okay. to him about after, the game. And then in quotes, says, after I move the new to the new house, I'll add more banks so I can have more than one type of enemy. You'll also be able to get your health bar back up by earning it through points. There might be a smart bomb that will kill anything on the screen. Uh, Who yes. knows what I or people posting in that thread will come up with. Yeah, smart bomb would be awesome. Uh, a smart bomb. Why can... is it smart? <laughs> if it just destroys everything on the screen. Isn't that just like a really... big bomb? A big bomb, yeah. Like a smart bomb would be... Heat-seeking. Heat-seeking. Like it have AI or something, right? Yeah. That's true. But they always call it a smart bomb. It's like uh, video it's game weird. nomenclature. Um, yeah, heat-seeking missiles would be good. Um, invincibility for a certain amount of time would be a good power-up. Um, obviously, building back up your um, defenses would be good. Oh, 3,600. Is that good? Is that it? This is Batari Basic. It has cosmic stars. Cosmic now. arc stars. Cosmic arc stars. So, okay, so he... Okay. If he made this in, I don't know if he made this in Batari Basic. Let me let me see if he said that. Do you know if he did? Let's see. It doesn't 
say whether he did or not. But if, oh, he, well, he's supposed to, thinks it's made in Batari Basic. I guess he recognizes some of the, the graphics. You know, it does does take you down. Yeah, it's, I don't yep. think it, it, it doesn't take you down much. It either takes you down the same, missing or getting hit, Just or it's not much different. By. Well, no, I can't tell. I already did it the other way. I did it oh. all the way through them just going by. Okay. And it's and about the same? Yeah. yeah. It's it's either about the same or exactly the same. Uh, you can control the cosmic arc stars to look like the scroll, but I doubt that's implemented in BB. Oh, Random Terrain runs the BB, say, BB website. It's BB. So I... I sp a little bit of a conflict there. <laughs> I suppose it says there are cosmic arc stars. Um, but Thrust says there... He doubts it's implemented in BB. But, yeah, if this was made in BB and it does have the cosmic arc stars, which are like... Let me show you that for a little bit. Just for a second here. What we're talking about. Uh, what I think should be added. Cosmic arc. Those kind of stars. Those are made with the ball character, which he's not using right now, so he can use. And instead of just going like that, they would be going mm -hmm. by as as it's as it's shifting. And you can make each line do a little bit different, so it's like some parallax scrolling. And so I think that would be an amazing addition to it. I don't doubt flickering stars in BB, but not with controlled movement. Oh, okay, so it's just like on or off, but you can't control them. Mm. But anyway, this is what I'm talking about. Um, somehow being able to control. Uh, these stars so they go by and do them doing them all in white or shades of blue and white would be a really really nice addition but we're not going to play cosmic arc so that's not homebrew <laughs> uh, oh, <yeah. laughs> um so I, I think we've played that one completely there's not much to it it is a very it's like the first version of it yeah 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 um so let's move on to the third game lost cat Meow. Let me change the graphic. Oh meow, no! Meow. That little cat! He's gonna be lost soon. No! I love the cartridge artwork. Lost cat, have you seen me? <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me just show the... That, I like. I really like the cat uh, uh, the drawing icon. Of it. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's really good. Let's see if I can read that in full. One second. There we go. My cat was lost, seen Thursday near the steam tunnel entrance. He is probably scared. If you find him, please call 555-6307. P.S. If you shake a bag of cat treats, he will probably come to you. <laughs> Super cute. <laughs> and there's not many cat-based games. So, of course, we have to play the cat-based game. Um, so this game was made by um, Jared Gray West. And this one's not new. Even though I said all the games were new, they're not new. This one, this one is not new. This one was initially posted um, in 2015, March 24th. Um, so it is, you know, three and a half years old. Oh, you found a cat. What the hell? That was quick. What do I do? Is it hitting you? Oh. Was it trying to hit Where? you? Where? Take a Where? You lost Where? the cat. Oh. Oh, you got a thing. Another Where's thing. that damage? Looks like you're, you're changing color. Is bad? I think maybe I'm dying. <laughs> it's good? Bad? Okay. This is by Jared Gray West. Yep. Um, who did I'm spy, right now. Who did Spies in the I'll Night. I'll be dead soon. <laughs> Death. No, almost red. Oh, a fish. Oh, that made you better. Less red. Well, that's a colorful enemy. And a cat! What? Get back here, cat! <laughs> oh, cool crab is here. Hey, cool crab. Hey, cool crab. Time zones are hard. I mess them up all the time. Um, what this happened? You were in the void of nothingness oh now you're back 
Um, so this is the same person who did Spies in the Night 2 that we played yesterday. Yeah, stop getting those bars of death. I have a rule that says I have to try oh. all That's of the better. bars. That is, that is, oh, you got hurt. Oh, okay, let's figure out what this is. Hello, all. This is a work in progress. I'll wait till you finish smashing the button. And you're dead. But I got it. Maybe. No, it didn't turn into a cat. I would have done much better if I hadn't been picking up all those gray bricks of death. <laughs> uh, it says shoot all the things. <laughs> I will do that next time. Thank you. <laughs> shoot all the things. I'm waiting for Pixel or Atari to show up. They were fighting. And they're off being on their own now. So this is a work in progress. Start there. Are you okay, this is a work in progress. I've put together the beginnings of an action game with simulated violence. I mean, three quarters overhead view. <laughs> <clears throat> you can move the player around the dungeon. Colors and sprites change depending on which direction he or she is facing. The player will be hidden behind walls at the bottom of the screen and appear in front of walls at the top of the screen. Yeah, this is really, really cool. Yeah. Like, it is it is three quarter view. Not very many games made like that. Like, yeah, it's, it's super cool. The name might change. Originally, I was thinking of something along the lines of Berserk, Frenzy, etc. <laughs> but I need to work out the enemy mechanics before I settle on a permanent name. Right now, there are no enemies. There are lots of objects to pick up, though. Obviously, that's old. It must be old, because I fought some enemies. I fought some enemies, and in some cases, won. <laughs> Ding! Gold. Treasures, gold chalice, gold coins, gold crown, gold ring, gold cross, gold sword, gold skull, gold gem, Woo! gold Atari 2600, Woo! and Fuji and gold Fuji symbol. Oh, very cool. I haven't seen that yet. Items, chicken leg, med kit, bandage, fish, bacon, a heart, an apple, and a cat. Oh, I, oh mm, this must be an bacon. apple. Bacon. Uh, mm, and veggie a cat. bacon. Currently, oh, treasures. there's a cross. Really cool looking, like, ah! Like, everything is really cool looking. Ah! Like, the animation, the enemies. Yeah, I like the little dude, too. Go! Oh, shoot it! He can't. It's just... Oh, is that a passageway? No. I can just shoot through it. I don't understand why there's a gray block that, that you don't damages touch. you. <laughs> and it doesn't move. It's just like, don't touch it. Try not... Oh, sword. Okay. Currently, treasures give you points. Items do nothing. I was trying to make the sprites as small as possible to give the sense that the player is in a large environment. Some of them are kind of iffy. Uh, I actually like the... I love how, I small, love how small he is. Like, it's amazing. And the animation is so good for how small he is. Yeah. He is three pixels wide and one, two, three, four, five, six high. And he's... Well, when he swings his arms, he gets a little bit wider. But, like, look at that. It's so good. The Bacon. world isn't persistent, but I made one concession in that direction. In that direction. New rooms are generated on the fly, but if you turn around and re-enter the room that you just left, it should be the same. Okay, so it's if persistent for a little bit. If you try to retrace your steps any further, though, you will find that new rooms have replaced the old rooms. <laughs> <laughs> it's Next so confusing. Up, I need to work on the enemies and AI. I am hoping to have a variety of enemies and attack patterns. If I can figure out how to do that. also need a cool weapon for the player. I'm thinking about using the ball as a weapon that will circle the player's sprite while the button is held down. Oh, that way it, can oh, be it used does as work. A shield. Oh. oh. I was wondering because when I pressed it, it looked like a shield at first, but I couldn't get it on the other side. Yeah. F when I pressed it one time, I was like, oh, it circled a bit and it did like a little. No, I just, you need to press it longer. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Okay, I'm going to use that next time. There's an enemy. There's an enemy. When the fire button oh, is released, it will ricochet around the room until it hits something. And I'm dead. Oh, great. How many cats did Death you find? animation. Like two. Are we supposed to guide them back? Because you touch them and they change direction. Right? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> play more? <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, oh, comments and suggestions are welcome. Oh, And excellent. then here it says, Jared told me today. I assume that's you. Yep, because I was well, talking to Jared. One of Who the things... Should... Oh, he's here. He made it. Yay, Jared. Yay. We're playing your game. 
uh, one of the things I regret about Lost Cat is not putting in an inventory screen to show which items you have found. Oh. You kind of have to keep track mentally, but you having the manual them. will help you determine what you need to collect. Oh, you collect them. Like, they build up. Yeah. Uh, okay. Like, oh, don't close it. There like is a manual. Rhyme. Here, here, here. My turn. To read, and you run around aimlessly. Because I believe there's a manual. So let's open up the manual and find out more about the cats. That's what I want. Oh no, this out. room has changed! <laughs> oh, that's a good thing. Of course, you're full, right? Full of beans. Oh, full of ah! beans. Come on, where oh, am I? I oh, I yeah. highly suspect that this is the bacon. I think that's the bacon. No. Yeah, the graphics and colors are like. <laughs> Amazing. No. Like super perfect. Uh -oh. Lost cat instructions. Come on. Open up. There we go. What was that? That's the only thing I don't recognize. A pile of something. Uh-oh. Your cat overheard you talking about giving him a bath. And he fled through an open window. Now he's trapped in an endless dungeon that's crawling with chuds. <laughs> <laughs> if you were any normal cat, you chalk it up as a loss and head to the pet store for a replacement. Who does that? Oh, get another cat. People who make games about cats do that. <laughs> Apparently. Jared. How could you say that about cats? But despite his occasional antisocial behavior, this, per this particular cat is also a great lap warmer. A fantastic mouser. Did you say mouser or mouser? I'd say mouser. What is happening out there? My cats are going crazy. I can hear them playing with something. Oh, I got the, I got the hard one. Oh. oh, is this a popcorn or a tooth? Looks like a little guy, a little golden guy. This looks like a bonbon. I gotta, I gotta see what those cats are up to. No good what is, is what it? they're up to. What is that? What do you have? What is that? Oh, it. What? What is it? You know, what you'd probably do is send them to the, the, uh, cat the jail. Cat jail. Then they'll respect me again. How many times you got to touch this cat before you catch him? <laughs> you don't get any points for touching him. You don't even get to touch him. Yeah, just no. stay in line. Stay in horizontal line with him. There you go. But what I mean is you don't have to touch him to get him to move. Just oh. have to get on the other side. Oh, you're like hurting him. Until what, hurt him into there because you can't hurt him into another room can you try that next time like he i did hurt him into another room and he when wasn't you... there oh okay um so grab a weapon and gird your loins it's oh, time for, to find your lost cat <clears throat> getting started insert the game <laughs> done click if you can't figure out how to insert the game shoot yourself <laughs> <laughs> no that's, that's, does it say uh, that no <laughs> Uh, without an instruction manual, I suggest you follow these steps. <laughs> if you can't figure out how to insert your Atari game into your Atari VCS, without an instruction manual, I suggest you follow these steps. <laughs> okay, this is better. Pack up your Atari box. <laughs> sell it on eBay. Buy one of those newfangled iPads instead. Uh -oh. Get off my lawn. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> difficulty switches. Left and right difficulty switches on the console can make your life easier or harder. Left difficulty. Novice position B. In this position, you can take seven hits before you keel over. Okay, we're in B. Right. Expert position A. Expert difficulty means you can take only three hits before dying. Oh. Right difficulty. Position B. Flipping the switch to the novice difficulty level makes the traps visible. Ah, oh, we must oh, have that. traps. Yes. Helpful oh. if you're a little baby or a grandma. <laughs> or us. <laughs> it's been very helpful, to be honest. <laughs> Uh, on expert difficulty, the traps are invisible. You just have to learn not to go in that spot where they often are. <laughs> yes. So they're kind of in the same spot. But that one is different. They said they, oh, they hardly show up on the stream. Yeah, I need to fix that. That's okay. They're not supposed to be visible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'll try and calibrate the stream. I 
keep forgetting, and I run out of time, and I've been super busy. Um, but yeah, they're not supposed to be visible, and they're barely visible on the stream, but they're quite visible here. Very like, visible. Like there's yeah. one in the middle of the room here, and it's barely visible there. Let me uh, let me try it just for a second. I, I gotta say, I don't get what the point of having invisible traps is. Invisible? If, yeah, like you. I mean, it just means that you randomly take damage, and if there's no skill you can apply to avoiding them, if they're supposed to be invisible, I don't know what you're supposed to do about that. There, that's that's pretty good actually. It doesn't change the color. Ooh, that's that's really good. There we go. Now you can see it. Other switches. The black and white and game select switches are not used in this game. Pressing the reset switch will restart the game and set the score to zero. Yay. Emphasis added. Uh, joystick controls. Moving around. Press the joystick in one of eight directions to move your, your on-screen player in the corresponding direction. You will move in that direction until you are stopped by a wall or enemy. Bonk. <laughs> Cats are crazy. <laughs> Using your shield, holding down the red fire button when the stick is centered will activate shield mode. In shield <laughs> mode, your player's bolo weapon will be slung around in a circle. This will deflect enemy shots and can damage nearby enemies who come into contact with the bolo. Oh, oh cat just took off. <laughs> okay. Throwing your bolo. Pressing the red fire button while pushing the stick in any direction will cause your player to throw the bolo in the uh, corresponding direction. Oh, okay. So you don't have to let go of it at a certain time. You have to press it in the direction. Okay, got it. Even I knew that. Oh, uh, of course. <laughs> uh, the weapon will continue oh, a straight line until it hits an enemy or leaves the screen. Look at that. Oh, it's the Atari, Atari symbol. Uh, the Fuji. Fuji symbol. You may yes. only throw one bolo at a time. Well, yeah. Objective. The objective of the game is to achieve a high score by rescuing your lost cat. Race through the dungeon. Collect any treasures and food items that you find along the way. Watch for traps. Which you can't if it's on difficulty level, maximum difficulty, because yeah. they're invisible! You can't understand. watch for them at all! I don't understand. I guess they're just like, you got fell into a trap, and you got to find some food. It Careful. just sucks. It's, it's it like, sucks. instead of having a timer, you're yeah. eventually going <laughs> to... Just die from traps. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not so sure about the traps, though. Okay, I need to know Defeat about the Defeat all cat. the enemies that stand in your way. What's that? I need to know about hey, the... Well, you just wait for it. Hey, we'll see if it's here. I'm reading through it. Okay. There's a cat, and there's one smelling its butt. Come here, kitties. Be on the stream. We're playing a cat game. Each time you defeat an enemy, you will receive an it's... item that you can use Atari. to convince your cat to let you take it back home. Oh. Once you have one of each of the seven cat items, you can pick up your cat if you can oh. catch him. Once you have the cat, quickly make your way to one of the outdoor areas, the ones with no what? walls. Oh, okay, yeah. <clears throat> in order to escape from the dungeon. Oh, now we Phew! know. If you succeeded, you'll see a winning animation and have the opportunity to try again while your score continues to com accumulate. Yes? Yes? If you succeed, you oh. restart, but you keep your score and it accumulates. Oh, uh, okay, okay. The dungeon! Each room of the dungeon has at least two doors. Run through one of these doors to enter the next room. In outdoor rooms, the rooms with no walls, you may exit by touching the side of the screen at any point. Right. Health. You begin the game with seven hit points. Three hit points in expert mode. See difficulty switch settings. Right. Each time you step on a trap, touch an enemy, or hit by fire, or try to pick up those gray blocks, you lose one hit point. <laughs> try to pick up those gray blocks. <laughs> Let me try. <laughs> Let me try as and pick up this trap. Maybe I can you, disarm it. As you lose hit points, your player will change color. Awesome. See, this you, should this should disarm it or something, like, no. or search for traps. This should you should be able to search for them if you're gonna keep traps in the game. You start Hi. out green, progress through the shades of orange, and finally turn red. When your player is red, the next hit will kill him, and the game will be over. Over. When you are injured, picking up food items will restore one hit point. Occasionally, you will find a red medical kit. Oh. Touching this item will restore you to full health. Woot! Go get that. Whatever that is. Oh, trap. So... Points. Defeating an enemy, 100 points. Picking up a chalice, 100 points. Picking up coins, 200 points. Picking up a skull, 300 points. Picking up a talisman, 400 points. Picking up a crown, 500 points. Pick up a sword, 600 points. Yeah, yeah, Picking yeah, up yeah, a yeah, philosopher's yeah. stone. A what? philosopher's stone, 700 points. Picking up a cross, 800 points. Oh, I got, a, <coughs> I got a rat. That's something new. Picking up the golden VCS, 900 points. Picking up the golden Fuji, 1,000 points. Escaping with oh, the cat, 10,000 points. I think I can get the, <coughs> the cat now. 
I've got a lot of things. <clears throat> and I got a rat, which I've never seen before. Treasures! Booyah! Picking up these items whenever you find them, you might as well get something extra for all your troubles. The Chalice of Light! Oh, the cat! Oh, he ran away. He was, like, right at the edge of the screen. But did you have to, like, release him, or was he just in the room? He ran away. He but ran... was he in the room, or no. did you have to release him? I had to defeat an enemy. Okay. And I think that's when the cats come, only. So yeah, yeah. That that That's when I've encountered them before. Look at that cheaty thing. Like, they can only fire at a certain... Like, if you move over, see, he can't get me, but I can get him. Yeah, but he does avoid standing in your line of fire. He is really good at that, actually. Yeah. The AI is like, very... Like, he won't go into your line of fire. No. Like, when you shoot, he's all like, no. Ex I mean, I guess you Except got Except in there. corners. He's not so smart against the wall. So if you add that in a little bit, like, oh, you're against the wall, I gotta move away. Those are easy. Oh! Nope. How do you pick him up? Shoot him! Nope. No, you don't have the stuff. I don't have everything yet. You have okay. lots of, but not all of, the stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. Chalice of Light, the golden platinum cup adorned with citrine, citrines, diamonds, green jade, pearls, rubies, and sapphires. It must be worth at least $25,000. Just don't drink out of it. You might shrivel up like that evil dude in Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. My cat's kind of listening. <clears throat> Thrust 26 asks if I, uh, my cats listen to me. Sometimes, but mostly not. They listen? Yes. <laughs> yes, they always listen. Yes, that's true. <laughs> um, I suppose to said you can see the invisible traps. You have to shoot your weapon ahead as you run. Ah. Uh, so that's fine then. As long as there's a detect trap spell. <laughs> Pile of coins, an amazing assortment of coins. Rupees, zenny, zorkmans, gil, zimon, zimolians. No idea what any of these are worth, but if you ever get out of this goddamn dungeon, just take it all to the currency exchange counter at the airport and let them sort it out. Golden says? skull, yes. Oh, I got a golden I... skull, a shrunken, gilded head, nasty. What? I got a collar, a cat collar or something, so that might help. Ah. You can get, you can be cheaty at this by being just off where they can shoot, but it's not. It's still not simple. The talisman okay, of this is an ultimate truth. This is a medallion and made of gold, embedded with diamonds and other precious stones. It says Franklin Mint on the back in tiny letters. Not sure what the hell it is for, but if worst comes to worst, I suppose you could always have it melted down hey. for, down to pay for college. <laughs> Golden Fuji, a curious golden idol, perhaps a symbol of some sort of vanished primitive tribe. <laughs> golden Atari VCS, oh, even away. better video quality, even better video quality than a heavy sixer. <laughs> I only have a, a light sixer. It's very sad. Not a heavy one. Cat, Cat. <clears throat> come on. Come on. Patisha. Come on. Oh. We like you. Yep, you lay down here. You have to do what you're told, that's all. <laughs> that's all. He's like, I am a cat. I you do know what I want. that's not going to happen. I do what I want. <laughs> I do what I want. I do what I want. I'm going to eat you. Oh, you're going to get me in trouble. Get me in trouble, Don't buddy. Don't play with him. I'm like not. I'm, I'm not. I'm waiting for him to let go. See, I'm not reacting. See, I need to find a cat again. So you're getting me in trouble, mister. Oh, don't. No. Hey. Bye, cat. Oh, that's something new. Bunch of coins. Get lots of points. Need to find a cat. There. Oh. The crown of life. A shining crown made of gold and encrusted with aquamarines, diamonds, green tourmaline, tourmalines, rubies, and sapphires. You could put yeah. <clears throat> you could put this on your head and prance around in your undies while making royal proclamations. But really, <laughs> you stop pretending to be king after age seven. <laughs> The Sword of Ultimate Sorcery, a glittering weapon crafted of the finest silver and inlaid with precious stones. An inscription reads, property of this royal highness king, Tramiel, lord ah! of all he surveys, hands off you peasant. The cat king. just like ran off the screen. Like he was like, blip, gone. It's like you've never he had appears, a cat. He appears at the side of the screen. Watch, this will give me a cat. Nope. Damn it. <laughs> they, those ones usually give me a cat. <clears throat> the Philosopher's Stone. It's a Philosopher's Stone, whatever that is. 
Cross of Coronado. Ah. <clears throat> your god can't help you now, but if you escape, this 24 karat gold cross might be able to help your bank account. Okay, cat. See, <clears throat> he's at the side of the screen, so I think that's where the cat appears. Yeah, yeah. Ah! <laughs> Sorry, Pixel. Uh... So you have to kill the enemy when they're in the middle of the screen, or you'll never get the cat. So but that happens. But, but that happens with some of the easier ones that don't move, like that. Just okay. get close to it. And you I'm going to be on this side when I kill it. Yeah. Closer. Oh. Yeah, but it only gives you cats sometimes. Oh, he's trouble. Yeah, only he's sometimes. On things. Health pickups. Stick these in your mouth, in your mouth hole to regain <laughs> lost hit points. <laughs> Is that what uh, it says? The, yes, the red one with a little bit of green. A delicious apple, or possibly a cherry. You know, it's the Atari 2600. Ah. You have to squint a little and use your imagination. <laughs> Maple glazed bacon. You really shouldn't eat this. I mean, who knows how long it's been on the ground. Still, <laughs> it just looks so fucking tasty. <clears throat> Cake. It's so delicious and also moist. It, well, it doesn't say also. It just says and moist. And moist. Roasted turkey leg. Mom always said that you shouldn't eat any food off the floor, but she also tried to set you up with that nice girl from work. The <laughs> one with the lazy eye and the homemade clothes. So what does she know? <clears throat> Stop it. Psst, he's trouble. Baked salmon. At this Psst. point, finding a fully baked fish with lemon and thyme, still warm from the oven even, on the floor of a dungeon is long... Uh, on the floor of a dungeon no longer surprises you. <laughs> Medical emergency kit. That's the one that looks like a bonbon. Yes. Yeah, those except, are really good. Empty except for a bottle of single malt scotch whiskey. Restores you to full health. Yay. Cat items. You will receive a cat item each time you defeat an enemy. You will need at least one of each of these items to entice your asshole cat into coming <laughs> back home with you. Cat collar. A symbol of oppression of his entire species. But he doesn't know any better. He's a cat. Cat treats. Luckily, this bag of the liver and cheese flavored treats, which is the only kind your cat will eat. Piece of string. You buy all these goddamn expensive toys for the cat, and what does he like to play with? Letterbox, you know, for the cat to shit outside of. See the piece? Oh, we've got the piece of string. It's the colorful one. Hey! <laughs> uh, golden food Say dish. Goodbye. Just kidding. Bye it's bye. not gold, but it is more precious than the sword of ultimate sorcery if you're a cat. Ball of yarn. Did you know that cats will sometimes start eating a long piece of yarn that will then pass through their entire digestive tract and come out their ass? <laughs> what? That's in the manual? Yes. That's crazy. Dead rat. Just like you, your cat will eat any piece of filth that it finds <laughs> lying around on the floor. <laughs> I didn't find that. <laughs> Enemies. The dungeon is full of these medieval dickweeds. Traps. <laughs> Traps don't move around, but they may be invisible depending on your difficulty settings. Throw your weapon ahead of you in, an em in empty rooms to detect traps. You will see a black outline where the trap is located. If you step on one, you will fall into a pit of spikes, being saved from death God, only at dead. the last second by your pincers of power. You'll still lose one hit point, though. Radioactive puddle. This is a puddle of vomit and human uh, excrement that came in contact with some radioactive waste and became sentient. You can destroy it with five hits from your weapon. Be careful. It moves fast. Luckily, it won't fire at you. Touching a puddle means you lose one hit point and also smell bad. <laughs> so note, it is a radioactive puddle that moves fast. <laughs> That's very <laughs> odd. Uh, autonomous gun turrets. These annoyances sit in one place and take pot shots at you. They can those fire in eight directions and can absorb five hits before they explode. Those are easy. I like those. Touching a bullet fired from the turret or touching the turret itself will cost you one point of health. Judge. Chuds, cannibalistic humanoid underground dwellers, have multiplied rapidly in this isolated dungeon. They won't fire at you unless you attack them first, but watch out. Even if you don't fire a shot, they will still chase and attempt to injure you with their claws. These chuds. are the chuds, right? The... Yep. Okay. The one I th thing I just killed. I'll take your word for it. Yep. Chuds can withstand five hits from your weapon. Game over. If you lose all your hit points, your player will collapse and the game will end. Press the joystick button or reset switch to return to the title screen. The save type score will flash, alternating with your score from the last game. Press the joystick button to start a new game. Oh. End of instructions. No, no. No, no. I'm pretty sure I got all the items in the game before this one, but I died. 
took a very long time. Give it one more attempt. You have to do it from below if you want to cheat. Oh, is it the blow? Yeah. Well, because you're too tall to do it from the side. Yes. That's string. string. You gamed your game. Collar. Fishbow. Oh, string. You have string and collar. Oh, oh puddle. Radioactive puddle. What string, collar, litter box. Litter box. Those are things you have to collect, right? Yeah. To get the cat. Oh, where am I? Oh. String, box. collar, litter box, and food dish. That's a food dish? Okay. Yeah. That's bacon. That's just for health, right? That's for you, yeah. Okay. That's for you to eat bacon. <laughs> it's veggie bacon. That's a cat. And you can't get it yet? No. Okay. He'll just run away and go, no, you have to get more toys for me. Ah! That's a chud. You can go find someone else. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I don't want to fight to chuds. Chuds are the hardest. That's just points, right? They don't fire. Kitty! <laughs> He's like, nope. These are easy. Kitty! So you can kind of game it so that you don't fight the hard ones because the dungeon is random. Yeah. Up to this a is the good one. Puddles are good. Yeah, I just had to readjust my position. Oh, uh, we already had collar. I had collar. <clears throat> okay. How many items are there? Nine, eight. Ooh, seven. Seven. Okay. There's something like that. Happy conversation one, in the two, chat going three, on. Four, ah. five, six, seven. Seven things, and you have four of. Cat. Four is not enough for that cat. Deadly trap. Ah, don't like it. Atari! So like it. I don't like it. Nope. So that's the room you have to go back to once. Oh, we had that. What are we missing? <clears throat> Do you know what we're missing? We're missing cat treats. Cat treats? Okay. We are missing ball of yarn. We are missing dead rat. Okay. That's... Already had that. That's the bowl. And the fish is just for health. That's for you. And a crown. You think the cat would want a fish? I don't like you. Well, the cat may want a fish. <laughs> but, but it doesn't get one. It does it gets... I'm eating it. That's right. Cross. Ding. And that's full, full health. health. Yay. Can you, read, can you read out some of the chat up there? If it's... Pixel has been exiled. Yes, he has. He was all over the Kuro place. Kuro Tsuchinoko was my second game. The last two that were looked at were far better, but required more direction. Kitty! I'm curious how that might turn out. This game looks cool. Oh, uh, that's Mojo Filter saying those things. And okay. I suppose it says, we can read you now, Mojo Filter 2. They're talking to each other. I'm not going to repeat the things that they're saying to each other. Go to the chat. I died. No, it's for me while I'm playing. Well, you're not playing now. Just read it. <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm the worst. Come on, we got to we got to finish this game. It's not hard. It's just we're die. We die a lot. Uh, lol, zero page. Lol. Yes. Yeah, we did. Um, yeah, the full screen animation. That was very cool. No! Uh, oh my god, you almost died instantly. And you're dead. That was the worst ever. Yeah, but it <laughs> was weird. Like, I, <laughs> I like, shot at the... Is there another place to go? No. Having to wait for the song to end is annoying. It is. That's a little annoying. It's only a little annoying. There it's, is no other It's place. extra annoying when you are such an idiot that you died within the first room. And <laughs> <laughs> I'm the easiest guy that doesn't even shoot at you. Don't. Don't. Encourage you? Don't agree with you? <laughs> uh, the twi Twitch is a little a much to wrap your head around, but it's pretty easy. You watch the video and you can type and you see other people. And there you go. You are able to do it. So 
You were close to winning the game. 1100 score. Just needed to catch the cat. I knew I just needed to catch the cat, but every enemy was not giving me the cat. Oh, I didn't see what we got. Well, it wasn't a cat. Oh, but yeah, that sucks. But apparently we have to get 1100. Oh, because the score only increases. No, I didn't see it there. I think that was the uh, litter box that yeah. time. Um, apparently the score only increases on unique items. Like if you get uh, five of something, it only counts once. No, get it further away from him. What are you doing? Wait, got... What do you mean, what am I doing? <laughs> you don't know! <laughs> oh, there's nothing to read there. <laughs> you don't know! 11,000. 1100. Come on. Come on, cat. Come on. Cute cat. I've only seen the cat walk horizontally. Nope. Not dealing with that, dude. Fish. Waste of fish. Waste. Oh, it didn't even give me points. No, you don't get points for fish, you get health. Oh. You get points for gold things. Oh, oh yarn. It's yarn. That's a good start. That's food. Oh, I thought that was a zero. Now we got bacon. Is that food? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's health. Full health. That's a trap. Don't get the trap. Okay. String. String. So you have yarn and string. Yarn, string, and... Gold? It no, I like... think it was treats. Okay. Yes, it was a box of treats. It was golden, though. No, it was green. This is how you do it. That was treats. I did get hit once, but if he's too close to you, you have to just run out of the room. Run right out of the room. Points. Empty. Easy. Litter box. Litter box. Health, which I needed a little bit of, which is good. Like, what is missing from this game? Like, I, I would, it's pretty much finished. I thought it was finished. And no. He, he was talking about maybe going back to it, yeah. but it sounded like I mean, there's a done. S there's a slight screen jump when you f switch rooms. But other than that, that's very high playability. Ah! No, you have to go further away from him. <laughs> <laughs> I have to be very careful now. Oh, good. At least one. Very careful. That's not Elf. That's a little bit. Is that just gold, right? That's not cats. Cat. That was things. gold coins. Okay. Nope. 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 They are deadly. Because they do move. Yay. More health. Getting back to green. No, you can chat with people chatting or the hosts. Yeah, we don't type, but um, ah, but we do. Um, oh. but we do talk back to you. There may be a slight delay. Look, you know this cat is ah. just getting all of the snacks in the universe. Oh yeah, we've gotten snacks so many times. <laughs> Atari. So 6,300, almost back. Now I'm getting green. There we go, full yeah, health again. Full health. Oh, run away! Yeah, there's no point. Ah! 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 ah. Bacon. Cheating! Cheating for the win! <laughs> it allows it. It's not cheating. Nope. The game by default allows it. It's not cheating. It's uh, maybe you a little bit. You should pick that stuff up when you're full. That? <laughs> no, the like trap? the health. You when you're pick, full? Yeah, because you're already full. Oh. You, I don't think it gives you any points. And but then I... you might in the next room get injured. Very smart. That was... Oh! <laughs> like that. I don't even know how that's possible. Instant death? <laughs> okay, that's something you can fix. Yeah. That thing, like, give like a second of invulnerability. Like a half a second. Yes. Like, you flash for a second, then, so you can run away? Yeah, that's a problem. That's a big problem. 
So there's one thing that you could could update. The egg of death. <laughs> Kitty! He ran away. Ah. That's the ball. Cat food, food bowl. bowl. That's one. And make those guys hard. Oh, the rats! Yay! You got the rats! Yay, two. Maybe I'll just get all cat toys this time. We can get it done quick. Three. Yarn. Yarn. Oh. Four. Yeah, because that was the litter box. Five. Five. Wow. Okay. Uh, That's really good. The fewer you have, the easier ah. it is to... <laughs> I don't like that room for that guy. That's for me. Oh, I shouldn't get that. May revisit. It's good to see how other people play and get feedback. Yeah. That is a one of the reasons I do this show. But it's more of like a side effect. Uh, that the um, programmers get to see real world examples of people playing their game. Good and or bad. Okay, my kitty! Kitty! Come on, kitty! Oh, kitty! Oh, kitty! Why are you hiding under the bed? <laughs> oh. oh. Apologies. I see it now, though. Whoa, some of the chat didn't show up immediately. Oh, okay. Oh, you have to... If you're... Yeah, there, if you're looking on the stream for the chat, that's probably not the best place to look. You want to look in the chat chat. Stream chat may be delayed depending on your bandwidth and other items. <gasps> Caller. Caller. Five. Yes, an inventory. No, that would be six. six. Unless you had. Do you have that one before? No. Because we had five before that. Okay, six. Yeah, the inventory screen by using the difficulty switches or game select would be a definite help. Or a counter. Or. Something like that. Oh. oh, back to health. Would be super helpful. Food bowl. What am I missing? Beep beep. There's like one thing. Ah! Ah! Can't get too close. He does reset when you leave the, r the room, though, I think. Which is fair enough. Yeah, you retreated. Although you don't reset. <laughs> well, that's. That dims the brakes. Oh, uh, no. No. Those guys are too hard. Without the... And these guys are too easy. Kitty! Nope. <laughs> My own cats are kidding. scratching They're at the scratching door. door. Let that is in! We'll oh. be good! Why, Daddy? Why are you so mad at me? I was just being a kitty. Yes, you were. Mm-hmm. A bad kitty. And you know you're a bad kitty. Because you get devilish look in your eyes and go meow, meow. Oppositional defiance disorder. <laughs> ODD, kitties. Get yourself sorted out. Kitty! Kitty, we've got six of seven! <laughs> it's kitty, that... don't be so picky, kitty! It's a bad kitty! <laughs> <laughs> ah! Ah! It's too hard. <laughs> too easy. No, just easy enough. Just easy enough. I don't enough. know what you're talking about. A boot. A boot, eh? What are we missing? Do you want the instructions again? Yes. Not that it really helps because it's solely random. But we'll know it when we see it, I guess. Ah! It's not that. He's angry still. Angry about the level of treats. Oh, you got it? Ah! I don't. No, I was making something up. <laughs> oh, okay. There. I'm safe there. <laughs> you got it close. There you go. We've got the ball of yarn. We've, we've got, got the, the dead rat. We've got the dead rat. we got the dish. Did we yep. get a litter box? Yep. We've got the litter box. So we need treats. Treats. Because we got the string and, and the, the cat litter collar. box again. Yep. So we're one away, and it's the treats. But then we still have to get the cat. 
which seems to be appearing a lot, a lot this time, as opposed to the other game when I had all the things. You're so bad, cat. <laughs> Ow. Oh! Cat! So many cats. Look, we're getting hungry enough here, cat, that you are in danger. <laughs> Odd, this has become too real. It is ODD. all too real. ODD. <laughs> Oppositional oh. devices. Oh. Are... Oh. Do you have it too? <laughs> <laughs> it's like my my cat pixel. This guy's just too dodgy. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, treats. No. Oh. Food bowl. I've had five of them. Big it. Woo! Woo! I do need that. Oh. oh, so much for bacon. <laughs> yep. So much for that bacon. Oh, no, no cherry. apple. Apple, yes. Or cherry. It's no, either. In the, in the manual, it was Yeah, it apple. says apple or cherry, it says. Oh. It says apple or maybe a cherry. <laughs> <laughs> Use your imagination. It did say that, too. <laughs> ah! 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 Bam. 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 Treats, please. No! no! Randomness. Water Why? Ah! <laughs> Why you do this? <laughs> okay, we're done. We're done. We're done. It does have a nice tune. <clears throat> now it's Castle Death of Castle of Doom. Of Doom. Castle of Doom. It is time for the Castle of Doom. So here you go. Let's uh, hold the button down. Atari, Atari, box. Atari box. Atari box. Castle 42 bin! Version number 42. <coughs> Leave it going for a bit. It's very nice music. At the beginning. Up a bit. And it has a Lego man. Yeah, moving slowly like this towards the castle. Mostly the head that was looking very <laughs> This is by uh, Chris Reed. Uh, this is from October 2nd, 2018, which is three days ago. So this is very fresh. Mm, very, very fresh. Um, originally, it was posted a long time ago. Um, August 31st, 2013. So five years ago, this was started. Um, Arena Foot, welcome. Thanks for joining us. Uh, it has been years since I've wanted to do a game like this. Now I'll turn down the music. You can go for it. So it's been years since I oh. wanted to do a game... Did you die? Already? <laughs> well, yeah. There were things moving very quickly towards me, so... Oh, you moved, right. But you were actually sick. Uh, but it kept... It just kept messing up. Even now, when I try to do this, I spent hours on it, even though I tried to recycle some code from level 3 of Plim. So anyway, the point of the game is to get out of the castle. I don't know how many rooms will be in the castle yet. All I have now is room one, which when you get to the door, it loops because I haven't designed door two yet. The enemy is supposed to be a bat. I need a good sprite artist to draw a good bat. If you touch it, you'll restart the room. Likewise, if you fall down a pit, you'll have infinite lives because I think in the later rooms, I would like it to get harder as the game progresses. So anyway, please download this and tell me if you see any bugs. Uh, to exit the door, press up when you reach it. Like I said, it just loops to the same room over and over again. Again, tell me what you think of the game. And this one, uh, this update was for October 2nd, made room 36 harder and added room 37. So there's 37 rooms to defeat. <laughs> Boo! Come on. <clears throat> Thought the show was tonight, not now. No, every second Friday. I know it's hard to keep track of. But you have to check check in the forums um, and check on everywhere else. There you go. Oh, no, you're hitting your head. Oh, you get hit by a bat. That didn't help. <laughs> um, so he just restarted doing this uh, recently. Um, from uh, Atari 2600 land. <laughs> Atari 2600 land. No! Who, uh, <laughs> who's the programmer of this? Come on. 
I know. This, this Seven is... tries. Uh, finding something to do, I thought about that old Castle Doom game for the Atari 2600 Ow. I made. 26 of screens of and stopped. Well, I picked it back up and made some improvements, like the guy is actually standing on the floor instead of floating above it. Couldn't fix the part where the guy can't reach the absolute sides of the walls, though. Castle of Doom is sort of like a go sub <coughs> instead of a submarine. Oh, gee, that's a fight. <laughs> it's Bob instead of the walls being deadly, they're solid. And instead of octopus, you get bats. They're purple. I had quite a time making a new level. Uh, what you see here, it didn't start out that way, though. I had a different in mind. Uh, but when the part you draw the walls is all screwy and work differently, this is what I ended up with. You'll see this room is room 27. Did you do it? No. Is thrust 26 <laughs> Thomas? Yes, thrust 26 is Thomas. I have about 1,285 bytes left in bank 2 where the room wall data is stored. I wonder if I could use part of bank 1 since it's not a playfield statement and instead a bunch of data lines. <clears throat> we'll see if I get that far into the game and bank 2 is all used up. That's what I've been doing the last few hours working on this. And that was April 5th. Oh, you're almost there. No! <laughs> 11 tries. Shush! So how are you with platforms? No! <laughs> Not so hard. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, I'm going to go wash my hand. They're sticky with felt? <laughs> That's what you're blaming. My hands are sweaty. It's slippery. Oh, this one's hard. You have to get across both of them. Oh, I made it too. Oh, you missed Lost Cat. That's a good game. That is a fun game. Oh, that was tricky. Oh, I made it past him, but I fell in the pit. Okay. Oh, how did I do it? I must have followed him down. Oh, it's good to get infinite lives. That's for sure. What's that? Hard as hell. It's getting harder. Much more time. Much more time. In. I love games like this. Platformers. Yay. Ooh. seems to be a wasted bat in this one. <laughs> it seems to be outside of the realm of possibility. Oh, that was dumb. Outside of the realm of possibility. How am I going to do that? I have to follow him down? And go left? You There's go, not enough room on the right. Can't you, when, can't you go after he goes just above you? Oh, that would be better. Yep. Yeah. Ah! Yep. Didn't think there was enough time, but it just barely is. <clears throat> Another wasted bat. Huh. One of the sounds in this game sounds like my cat. It's just like meow, meow, meow. It's like one of the higher pitch sounds at the, at the beginning of this jumping sound. Meow. Sounds like Atari. Meow. Meow. <laughs> Ah! Come on. There we go. Okay. I'm gonna go on the down, maybe? Nope. Jump around him. Easy. Oh, what? Okay, wraps around. Oh. Very cool. Oh, no. Different moving bats. 
What did they do? Okay. Oh! Oh no. Now what? I should have gone then. Jump them? No, it's no time. It's just no time. Oh, they're different every time. They're kind of... Go, 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 go! They're not fall... They're kind of following <clears throat> you? Oh. They're... Oh, you go... You gotta go now. <laughs> they're... Oh, different moving bats again. Oh, my God. I can't... Oh, I have to go this way. Ah! Ah! No! Oh, that was good. There we go. Are they going to stay down there? Still a problem, but... Ooh, 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 ooh. Yep. Mmm. How? At the end of this one, you still don't have any. Yeah, I think so. Oh it's tight, God. but... Are you going to have a walk okay, with them? Well. No. Oh, oh, man. Oh, he's not gone long enough. Run, Mario, run! Yeah, there's no animation for this dude. He just kind of moves around the screen. <laughs> it seems like there's more room now there. I don't know. Oh, there is? Yeah. Wow, randomy. Oh, I made it down, but... Oh my God. But are they too tall? Are they too low? Uh, yes. Ooh. I think... Oh, they're oh, yeah, yeah. really far now. Oh, yeah, much better. Maybe the first one was a problem. Wow. Okay. No. <laughs> you're not even. You're like, no. <laughs> not happening. Did you? Were you here for the first part? <laughs> All I do is bounce around uselessly over and over again. <laughs> you won't be able to keep watching, right? <laughs> <laughs> they like. They like flail, flailing and and frustration. This that is exactly right. Yeah, you have to. This is pretty cool. Like, it's simple in its execution. Like, there's always three bats. They m move... They always move together? Yeah, they always move together. Yeah, they, they they do. They always... And they maintain the same width. Ah! Oh, my God. You this tried to ride be, that one. Yes. It's going to be some... There's no safe place. Yeah. All, till all the way up. From here, there's no safe place. Yeah. Oh I believe God. in you. I believe in you. There is a safe place. No, there isn't. It's not very safe, but it is. On the... the Where? Right there on the edge. Oh, okay. <clears throat> I'm not saying that's any easier than just jumping. <laughs> but it is actually... Uh, it is safe, yes. It is a place you can get to. It probably takes more skill to Pre sit there than it does to, to just jump away from there, though. Mojo Filter 2 says pray. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that that is what I'll be needing to do. If I think I if I jump in between the bats while they're coming down, I'm not do that. Um, I think that might be a possibility. Like, yeah, something like that. I think. need to do that but more 40 tries on this level no i think it's total isn't it no nope. oh almost so if i just do that no it resets oh oh mm. i see what you're doing though it seems like that's gonna work did you notice the four digit tries counter <laughs> I did notice the four digit <laughs> tri scouter. Um, I didn't really think about the four digits. Oh, it's hot in here. I gotta open the window. Oh, it's hot. Lucky for you, there's cool air outside. Really cool air. This will cool down quite a bit because we can't let those bad cats in. Is no clip a cheat? Ooh. No, you can't go through things. No, that's pretty good. It would be a cheat. Oh, oh so close. you got it. I did. The, so the important possible. thing is figuring it out. Yeah, yeah, you figured it out. Okay. As long as I don't screw it up. 
We're all good. All right. Now for more punishment. Now how? Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. So there's just there's like safe spaces, and the bottom is not one of them. But this one doesn't seem as punishing as the last, which is nice. Now this one's easy. Whew. Okay. This one is another easy one, it looks like. Lots of safe spots. So now it's more about safe spots than anything else. Where are the bats not? Another easy one. Another easy one. The ROM? Yes, this one is available. All of these... Uh, the ROMs are available on um, Atari Age. So just look for the names of the games. Just do a search. And they're they're all easily found. They're not, uh, you don't have to dig for somebody's blog or anything. Oh, that's the trick on this one. It's just barely reachable. So I have to get right to the edge. Levels? Do you remember? Yeah, no, it's it doesn't reset the tries. Oh, okay. That's what I'm saying. So it's a total tries. Yeah. Is your score? Yeah, and yours okay. is including my tries, I think. Oh, it is. Well, that's no good. And my <laughs> tries were whoo, <laughs> whoo, <laughs> way up there. Whew. Whew. How many times did you have to try the first level that I tried a million times? Oh, uh, maybe twice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the bats come at you right away in this one. Uh, or Arena Foot's list. Yeah, he has links to all the latest um, downloads. So that makes it... This is not... Get it on the down? Yeah. No. Oh, my God. <laughs> There's not a lot of time on this level. Well, I think you do have to do it on the down, because otherwise you're going to hit them jumping up. But I don't know. Yeah. Try it both ways. And... Yeah, I'll do down again first. Seems... What? Oh, that's a waste of tries. That is def... That's like not even close enough to enough time. I, like, make it to this... The second bat kills me. And I'm going, like, as fast as I can. So try it on the up. Yeah. But that seems like much less time. Well, that was... I'm not even gonna jump. So that didn't count. Well, I made it a little bit further on the up. But still, it seems... Yeah, I think you, you might have to go on the down, because then at least when you jump, you can arc go over up them. with them, yeah. yeah. Okay. There we go. Yay! Ah! <laughs> Four bats. Ah! Four bats now. Ah! I didn't even know where... I was just running. No clue. <laughs> Run. Okay, where is good? There is no good spot here. I can jump over it. Not even... Because I'll hit my head on the other bat. I have to go all the way to the top. Seems like enough time, though. Good oh, night, yeah. cool ah. crab. Crab. What did you think I said? Cab. No. No? No. Okay. <laughs> what am I doing? That was close. <laughs> I went right in between. Who's going to bed? Cool Crab's going to bed. Okay. Good night, Cool Crab. Are you in, in Europe? Or are you just have an early bedtime? <laughs> <laughs> it's like. That would be very early. I... That would be very early for East Coast. Yeah. There's like a huge divide. The ocean is like a no man's land. So you're either East Coast. Or your Europe, which Europe makes a lot more sense. Yeah. Because that's like minimum eight? Or is there somebody seven? Ah! Is there any sevens? Oh, that was dumb. BD. What's the one? BD? BD? Oh. 
up. Okay. Can go across. Oh, this is easy. Okay. Yay! <clears throat> oh, this one doesn't seem to. Nope, touches my toe. So, up and around. Give myself a little bit more time than that. Yep. Okay, oops, <laughs> almost killed myself. And that is safe. <laughs> and that is safe. There we go. Did Dem Demo Boulder Dash do use which one? Oh, Cool Crabs in Sweden. Okay. Well, that makes sense. That's like. He's, but nine. I suppose this is he's amazed you have new games and have not had a good but abandoned topic show. No, um, there is endless good games and tons of new ones always being developed. I'm continually astounded as, at the amount of games that are being made for the 2600. Just like endless. <laughs> I knew it. Damn it. I gotta... Oh, what am I doing? Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Okay. Back to the top. That's safe. This whole top part safe. No, that the pit is, is not, not safe. safe. That pit is unsafe. <laughs> okay, that's all safe. Okay. That ledge is safe. That's fine. The bottom's not safe. That next ledge is not safe. Nothing's safe. You have to make it all the way in one yep. go. Okay. Okay, good. Ah! 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 <laughs> Only 14 more rooms. Okay. We can do it. We can do it. We can do it. Okay, that's not safe. Nothing. That ledge down there is okay, it looks like. Yep. Okay. The next ledge is okay as well. Yep. And then nothing. Good. That one's fine. That one's not. The bottom's not. Nothing. Nothing to that other ledge on the left. How do you get across that jump? Oh, that's a good question. Oh, what? It's like mega jump. What's going on here? All of a sudden I can jump like crazy. Yeah, but you have to... What? Oh, this is safe. Okay. So I follow them across. But then what? I have to avoid them. Because they're going to come back. You have to jump so that you are here mm. when he comes here. You jump. Yes. Meet him there. Yeah. It is quite a big jump. Okay. Yeah. So that is that is the key. Definitely. But it's all about timing. Now 13. Yeah. Now it's safe. Good. It's like weird. All of a sudden, you can do a huge jump. Yeah, that is... <laughs> or maybe it could always do a huge jump and you always hit your head. Ah, Right? Because yeah. we never had an open space like that. Yeah. So those bats fly like that the whole time. Okay. So there's lots of safe areas. Then there's bad areas. Like this is a very bad area. The leftmost part of that is safe. Where should I go down? Not there. That's too risky. Between them when they're coming up? I think so. Oof. But I think that's the right do thing to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You made it. Yep. But I just didn't quite get to the right spot. Fell off. Must be right, <clears throat> right on the edge. One foot. One foot on the edge. Okay. Foot loose and fancy free. Okay. 
Ah, woof. You have to be <laughs> fast. You have to press up too. Uh, twenty-seven. So twelve more. So it's thirty-nine rooms. Okay. This one doesn't seem too bad at first glance. Lots of safe spots. Yeah, this one's not too bad at all. Ugh. Oh, it's just to start over. <laughs> Didn't die. So that's not too bad. But there's low ceilings. So you just have to get right to the edge. Yeah, this is easy. Easy. It's nice they throw you some like ones that are not too bad once in a while. That's safe. That is... Ooh, okay. That ledge up there is... Fine. That's fine too. That is not... That is not... The top one is. Okay. Oh. No. Damn it. <laughs> Oops. Oops. Is goth still around? Never heard of goth. Oh. No, that was silly. Oh. I still haven't fixed this joystick. It uh, pulls to the left uh, automatically sometimes. It gets stuck. Yeah. That is bad in games. <laughs> 28 of 37. Okay. So nine more to go then. Only inflated numbers. Oh! I didn't do that. I did not. Well, no, it's uh, 10 because you haven't finished this oh, one yet. Stop pulling to the left. Okay, yes, a 10. Okay, good. The bottom side, fine. Okay, not that, not that. I have to go to the top. Good. And we're safe. And we're not safe immediately. Ah! <laughs> I don't know about that that kind of tactic. You have to memorize the level That's you're That's why they into. gave you uh, four digits of tries. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, definitely. So lots of safe areas here. Oh, that one's nice. Whoa! Bats Holy everywhere! Jumping. Oh, jump. It says hi, hi. Uh, so that one jump. is safe. Those are both safe. Oh, good. Okay. And you need it because... The jumping is the unsafe part. The screen is full of them. That is That's but not the pit safe, is. But, but the pit between the H, yeah. Okay. Oh. Stop pulling to the left. Oh. I'm gonna have to do something different on that jump because I there's no time in between that uh, that bat there. Like there's no time on either end, so you have there to do it while the bats there. are going. Yeah. Earlier than that. Stop pulling to the left. <laughs> Oh, and you have to do it when they're going that way, right? Yeah, yeah. There wouldn't be... Yeah, you'd run into it. Yeah, yep. there you go. And now there's room. Good. Okay. Ooh, a lot. Whoa, whoa, what? Oh, okay. <laughs> to jump, fault? No. You jump, go up there, and then go around there, and it pops out here. Yeah. But you have to land on that that left lower oh, ledge. Oh, because you can't get high enough first. Yeah. No, because you hit your head. But it is safe once you get there. Mm, yes. Oh, okay. That's true. That's true. Okay. That's not too bad. I thought it was unsafe. Mm, that would have been... That's Very for uh, level 37. <laughs> That's the last level. <laughs> <coughs> there you go. Oh, safe on that next ledge. Okay. And on safe the bottom. on the bottom. That's fine. That's easy. Okay. There's a bit of room. Safe on the top. Okay. Ooh, that's tight. That is not a lot of room there. Go 
right away. Wow. Maybe you have to jump now. Like, maybe you have to jump in between here, and then while you're there, they go over, and then you have enough time to no. get to the top. There's no, there's no way. There's no way you can make it between those bats. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, I'm not going to waste my time doing that. What am I doing? I don't know. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Oh, almost, almost. Oh. Stop it! Bad joystick. To write myself a note. To fix the joystick. I believe in me too, Mr. Fix. <laughs> Thanks for the pep talk. Oh. <laughs> no! That's, it is, it is really, this is a really tough spot there. <laughs> it is very tough. Oh. But you can see how you, how you yeah. would normally get that. Yeah, it's just really tight. And then on the top jump, you can't do a full one. You can only do a little bit. Otherwise, you'll hit the bat. Yeah. So is there enough room? There really isn't. When they go to the left, there's not. There's not enough room. Ah. Uh. To fall between them, but then the bottom one's gonna kill me. Oh my god, there's not enough room. Yeah, so if you if you fall on this one, and you have to fall and then go that way. Yeah. And then immediately. Oh, yeah. Because that's the only one where you have that brief moment. Ugh. And the amount of. <clears throat> You get to practice it for a millisecond. <laughs> at least, at least, uh, why say you have tries five? It does reset after a while then. Or there was an upper limit and it reset, so what? all four digits aren't used. I don't know. Uh, that limit would be 100 because it was nearing 100 last time I looked. Okay. Hmm. Can somebody tell me that when that reset? Probably people aren't paying attention to that. Ugh. Oh. Stop it, joystick. Stop pulling to the left. I have, this is crazy. Oh, that was close. but that it's possible doing it that way. 250. It must have reset at 99. I don't think I made it to 250. That seems awfully high. Last time I looked, it was close to 100. Is the yeah. Thing. But it's kind of weird because computers don't count in 100. But it's no, no, digits, I, I don't though, mean. Yeah. I don't mean that it was 100. I mean that it was close to 100. So it right. might have flipped at 100. It might have gone 99 and then flipped at 100. And they forgot to implement the next two zeros. And now it just... It didn't have a second counter. Yeah. Right? To do the other digits. Oh, that was interesting. That was unexpected. <laughs> <laughs> I could have survived if I yeah. jumped again. But I did not because I didn't know that was going to happen. <laughs> okay. So hard. Not enough. Yeah, Rena Foot says ninety nine tries went to zero. Oh, okay, yeah, because you, you can rewind in Twitch, I think. Uh, went to zero. That makes sense. They just didn't implement the five more rooms, including this one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, six. Because I have not finished this room. I'm very close. It's all about precise timing, though. Earlier. Earlier. Oh, 
least I've got... <sighs> Pull to the left! At least this part is easy. Now. It was always gonna... Now it is. <laughs> well, it wasn't easy, easy. It was like, you were like... <laughs> Harder before, but I get it most of the you time. You get it? Now. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You, you have it down pat, for sure. Yeah. It's no, I'm, I object to you referring to it as easy. That's well, easy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's the part you're objecting yeah, yeah. to. Okay. <sighs> Almost. I just need to go to the right at the right time. Mmm. Mmm. Where they throw me a bone after this one. Ah. Or five. Or five more. I don't mind being the last one super hard. But I mean, just a couple easy ones after this. Please. But it's funny, maybe the programmer thought this one was easy. You know, you never know. Damn it! I got there. But just going to the door because you have you don't just go over the door uh, for the people who are, haven't played this before you don't just touch the door yeah you, you have, have to, to press up, up when you're, when on, you're the door. on the door yeah, yeah. oh my god so it's not simple because you have to get the timing right oh good thing is i know what so to I do think if you if you go in here I don't know if you can. I don't know if you can. If you can go back with it, like drop and go oh, back. Oh, back with it. Like go in here and then. That's drop not a here lot of time. Like that. But like here, drop. I and see. Then in the air, you can move, right? Uh. And then land on the door and click up. It's not enough time. Okay. It's a little bit more time when the bats are going to the left. I mean, it's if you went. If you went down like that. Oh, uh, it's too fast. Like there? Um, maybe. <laughs> Not maybe. That was, the, that was the greatest thing ever. <laughs> maybe. Yep. <laughs> oh, finally. Thank you. Oh, that's a much easier way of doing it. Oh. God! <laughs> Nightmare level. Okay, that's probably what he, it was meant to be done like. Okay. I can run on there. Nothing safe. Nothing safe. Nothing safe. Oh my God. But at least it's going in the right direction yeah, with this one. That's true. And there's a you can but, avoid but, them. Like you can go like this and like that. Oh, uh, like I see. Yeah, yeah. So it's not nightmarish. It's just not awesome. Okay, that's better than I thought it was. <laughs> Ooh, this is not easy. So I'm gonna go with the bats. Uh, that one's safe. The next ledge. <laughs> but you have to go with the bats. Yeah, yeah. The next one is not, but the one after is. That's a bit of. You get a bit of time. Ah. Evil. Yes, definitely evil. Good night, Thomas. Good night, Thomas. Thanks for hanging out again. Okay. Oh. Oh, I have to get to the edge. What am I doing? Oh, I have to get up. Oh, close. I was getting a little too close to the, the bats there. There we go. Oh, squish! Ah! Like this part is... No. If I do it properly, you can just go. No, never mind. 
I'll wait. <laughs> you did you did just I, go the one time and it I, worked perfectly. You got all the way to here in one yeah one go, or at least it, that's how I remember it. No, I did do it once, but you have to move immediately. Hmm. Those bats would be better if they moved a small fraction behind the pace of the main character. Do I move exactly the same pace? I bet I do. I think, I think I they do. Yeah. I think you move exactly the same because when you move with them for this jump, it was yeah, which makes it uh, the game a lot easier because then you can time things out better. It's hard because you have to do a small jump at the top and not stay in the air that long. So your hang time really gets to you. Ah, woof. That was close. <laughs> that one's really good. Ooh. Yay! Nice. Three more. Okay. What's safe? Uh, okay, that ledge. It's not too bad, I think. Hmm. Not much time. But there is enough. That's no good. But back and forth. And then it's that ledge. Okay. Ah! Stop ah. pulling. Now I have to get close. What is what is happening? There we go. Weird. Sometimes I think the bats are have different limits, and we did see that on one of the earlier we levels. We saw them change, yeah. Yeah, but it didn't. It, they seem to have been. It seemed to be only like that level uh, and maybe one after it where that happened. Yeah. And all the rest of the time they seemed very consistent. Yeah. They really are filling the screen this time, eh? <laughs> yes, they are. Okay. Have to get to there. Okay, not too bad. Oh, the next one's fine, too. Uh, what is left? Oh. Night, Mr. Fix! Night, Mr. Fix! See you next uh, Wednesday. Oh, boy. This is... Oh, I can... Could have gone up to the next level. That was safe. Yeah, the top level safe. Yes. This one is, and the next one is too. Okay, that's what I didn't have. Okay, and the next one is. Oh, and the next one's safe. Okay. Oh, that's. Ooh, boy. Okay, I have to follow the bats into the door. And you have to jump in the middle. Yeah, like you, like you have to jump while they're in motion, not at a stop. Yeah, which is oh, harder for gotcha. my brain to comprehend. I think it is. You yeah. seem to have it under uh, barely. <laughs> yeah, you have to kind of anticipate a little bit. not as brutal as other ones, I don't think. It's just getting the timing correct. Ah! <laughs> the pit! I almost rolled the, rolled the numbers again. I'm up to 60. <laughs> 61. <laughs> oh! <Ooh. laughs> Unexpected bonus! Get to the edge. So I don't have extra wasted time. Okay. <sighs> nice. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Bad, good. Okay. Hmm. They're definitely not throwing any softballs anymore. No. <laughs> Every level is 
Chal oh my god. You have to do small jump like that. No! no! <laughs> <laughs> 35 to 37. Almost there. Yeah, three more. Okay. Ah! Oh, so hard to do a small little jump. Yeah. But do enough to it's get hard up to, there. Yeah, it's hard to like limit your own jump. It's like just a tap. But the exact right tap. Okay, good. A little bit of a spot here. Okay, that's not too bad. Just have to fall down. And this one is you're pretty you're safe at the top there. Okay, good. Oh, this is not bad now. Okay, two more to go. This one's safe. Yeah, I love the tries are unlimited too. Yeah, it's it's necessary for yeah. this game. Yeah, very good choice because you would just pfft. well it lets them make it as hard as they did. Yeah, because this hard with five lives, no, people yeah. would just never make it to here. Yeah. He'd, be, he'd be making levels that nobody would see. Nice little area down here that you can have a little break from. Nope, I didn't think that out. <laughs> can't tell if you're safe on that. Yeah, you are. Yeah, this is a lot of that safe. That one over there, I mean. Oh, uh, the right hand? Yeah, I think it's the same as the other one. Yeah. So I just didn't... Ah! Uh, good save. Okay. Now what do I do with this? I have to... could jump when the rightmost bat is on the right hand side of me and then run and f and then jump and then jump over him no now if I follow him and then fall damn it yeah you can't fall no I have to fall in between the bats so if you jump Like before he gets here? Like you jump so that you land here when he's there and then you jump over him. Yes. Mm. And you're safe here, I think. Yeah. Daryl showed me the Easter egg 2014. They're probably, oh, probably with Stay Frosty too. That's what they're talking about. Oh. If I have to go down between bats. That is the only way. Yeah. Um, but which bats? But if you, if you jump like that, like you jump so that this this one here is coming at you. Yep. And you jump so that you land here as it's coming at you, and then you jump over it, and then when you come here, you go between the next one. Um, jump over the rightmost bat again. Jump over. So you jump. Yep. When this one's coming at you, and then you jump over it. But I don't think you can. I don't jump think over you can the jump second over. one again. You jump over the first, and this, you will go over the second because it's moving so fast. Uh, but it comes right back. Yeah, but you're falling at 9.8 meters per second. <laughs> and I don't know fall, if that works. fall through which ones? The first, between the first and second? I think, I think or you, you jump, so you jump here. Yeah. And then I think you fall through there. But I don't know, I don't know if, if this will work at all. Right. I'm just trying. <laughs> so like, I have to jump over two of them? Yeah. But I think, so you, yeah, I think the ceiling's too low for what I'm envisioning. Like, I don't think it's going to work. So... Oh, that didn't work. That was not intended. I hit the first bat. So I couldn't even tell. But we'll 
try that again, because it's quite easy to get to that point at least. Not a lot of danger going on. Okay, let's try jumping the first bat and see where we land. No. The ceiling's too low. I can only make it over one. So try following the bat and try to drop it. Um, like there. Like chasing this guy. Chasing the third one? Back? Chasing the third one back and dropping. Well, um, there's not enough room to drop in between. Um, between uh, oh, between when he him, turns around. Chase him back. Yeah. And then jump. And then fall after him. Yeah, I think that's the safest. It gives me the most time. Yeah. I think that's the best. <laughs> I wish this crowd was a chat room full time. <laughs> I bet there is an Atari Age chat room somewhere. I'm almost certain. I'm, maybe there was before, like when IRC was a big thing, but maybe not anymore. Okay, so it's following. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And then jumping over it and falling through. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, and it is safe there because we know from from that. So it's yeah. Safe. Okay. Well, for four hours a week, there's a chat room here, so you can all come in here, and this is a scheduled time. I have to do it faster than that. There used to be at Atari IO. Oops. Doing Do it faster. Okay. Ah, terrible. Terrible. <laughs> I knew I was gonna die there. <laughs> it was right on my tail. Mm. This level's uh, fairly evil. <laughs> I don't know, but beyond evil, it's pretty evil. Yeah, it's definitely pretty evil. I was get I was getting close. Oh, I have to go right, right up to, to the, the edge, edge because right to the there's edge. Cause you not, wanna, cause you not enough room. And hit the wall and then fall. Yeah. Because there's not a lot of jumping time. Like hang yeah. time is like because you hit your head really quick. Rage quit. Yeah. When you're on level 36 out of 37, you don't rage quit. <laughs> you feel like it, but but you're that close. Panky the Panda, when I was doing a full run of that, that, oh, I wanted to rage quit that so badly. <laughs> that was so hard. Oh, too early. That was a hard game. Panky the Panda? Yep, but I did it. It was a platformer, like kind of like this, but a little bit more like enhanced. Had a lot more things going and different options, and there were slidey levels, and it was hard. And you had to do precision jumps, just like this. Oh my God! I have to stay to the right. Yeah. After I clear it, pull to the right, and just press up. Yeah. To hope for the door. Well, once you get once you get past mm. the the bat, you don't have to worry about the pushing up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you I just, just have, have to get, get past the bat. The bat. Yeah. That's true. So I still need to push to the right so that I'm... F so that you're out of the way, yeah, yeah. As far away from the bat as possible. Oh, I need to get closer. Yeah, this room and one more. That's it. Very close. I know what to do. I think we're pretty sure that it's going to work. Okay. Oh, too early. Close. 
It is pretty good. <laughs> oh, last post with this ROM. Read that out. He made 36 harder and added a room 37. <laughs> so, just for this. And that was like three days ago, I think. <laughs> 88 tries. We're, out, we're almost looped again. So, we'll be able to... Well, I hope not, but I, I'm sure by 37 we'll find out that it loops on... Uh, yeah! Uh, <laughs> last one. Okay. <sighs> yeah, Chris Reed made this. Chris? Chris Reed? Is that his name? Yeah. Okay. That's easy. That's easy. Hmm, deceptive so far. That's easy. That's easy. Hmm. That's easy. I don't know. Now it's hard. Can't do that jump. I have to follow the bats. That's easy. Oh. No, this is easy. What a last level. It's nothing. Nice. Oh, Whew. And I get to watch the intro animation again. See, I think though that that last level, like, that could have been harder. Like, I think you have the particular skill to defeat that, but I don't know that it was objectively. No, not objectively, just because I did 36 levels of much harder jumps than that. Yeah, yeah. But jumping in between bats is not inconsequential. Yeah. No, I think you're right. Was, like was the, that the level really... before it, it the level before it was harder. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mojo felt it. Was that really it? What do you mean was that really it? That was hard. <laughs> hard as hell. I meant the last level specifically. Oh, we played for like an hour. That's a that's a decent amount for an Atari game that has an ending. Pretty good. Yep. Finny! He should have made it a troll screen and you have to go through the full game again. <laughs> but the bats are faster. Yeah. <laughs> Kapow! Like Ghosts and Goblins. Yeah, that's terrible. Do you know about that? You play through Ghosts and Goblins, mm -hmm. and at the end, it tells you you have to play the whole game again. It's like, you're not done, and you have to play the whole game through once again. And it's a little bit harder the next time. Because <laughs> you make it make it through like five levels, you get to the princess, and they're like, "No, you have to do it again." It's totally, it's like a total cop out because they didn't remake yeah, the yeah. game again. They just yeah. like tweak things to be a bit faster or harder. <clears throat> Forgot to look how many tries you went through. It was like a hundred, and then plus like 90? 89, 90, 91 around yeah, there. Like that. Yeah. So this awesome thumbs up, super awesome game. So let's. Yeah, so really good uh, bunch of games this round, as per usual. The uh, oh, I gotta turn on all those so I remember which games we played. Oh, those are old. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. So Kuru Kuru Tsuchi Noko, hard, too yeah, hard, yeah. way too hard. Oh, it wasn't way too hard. You just <laughs> it was hard. It was, it was really hard, hard for you, but yeah. was it? Uh, Thrust, Thrust, who was like, uh, he got to like level three, like lickety split. I That's think true. that you have to, you have to take some lessons. Some, <laughs> you have to take responsibility for. But I'm good you, at some games, yeah, not but that one. Just because you're not good at that game doesn't mean that it was too hard. Yeah, I think it is for the for first level. It should be more open. And yet, yeah, he Thrust did got to level three very quickly. Yes. But we barely made it to two once. Yeah, I got to level two once? <laughs> that game was easy. <laughs> <laughs> no. no, it was awesome. I love that it's game. It's a good game. Amazing premise. Great graphics. It's just, it starts off too hard. I think it needed to be an open field for the first one. So you could practice your turns. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, no. yeah, an open field for the first one. Yeah. Yep. It wouldn't ruin the game for it to be easier. Yeah, yeah that's true. Yeah. All right, and maybe a bit slower or something. But still really challenging. I don't know if I play it because maybe I'm just not good at those games. Uh, maybe, yeah. Well, definitely I'm not you can, good. You can, you can just play it again now. It'll be on uh, I think Twitch. I think as soon as we finish the stream. As soon as we finish the stream, you'll be yeah. able to play it on there. You don't even have to wait for YouTube. YouTube is a better quality, though. I don't know why. Because it's not real time, possibly. It's not dropping frames, but YouTube is a much better version. If you want to wait till tomorrow at 2 p.m. ish or later, because I can't post it 
because because this is monetized. They don't like me posting it. Uh, yeah, it's part of the rules. Uh, if you if you make any money from Twitch, you can't post your stream within 24 hours. What you know, it's their rules. It makes sense. You know, they want to monetize or whatever. Yeah, that's it's not even unreal unreasonable. Yeah, it'll repost yeah. it here first, then YouTube tomorrow when I post it. But I upload it immediately after the show, so I can just hit go at go time, 2 p.m. Anyway, second one, uh, simple horizontal shooter. Great, like it's the first release, so it's a great basis for continuing yeah, yeah. on. I, I liked the way it looked and the yeah. way that you moved. and Everything yeah. looked really good and the way it handled, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think it can build and build and build with like add-ons and bonuses and different ships and different shots. I think you should suffer more if you hit one of the ships than if they get by you. Oh, yeah. like. But that's like nothing. Or you can divide the, the lives and the shield to just two separate things. Like I like that. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, you could do that. Yeah. Sure. And then Other way's fine. Because then you can have things you could pick up to boost your shield. But you can also die, too. And have those two factors to make it, you know, more interesting. Um, but the way it is, is is good, too. But I don't think, I think you're right. There's not enough penalty for death. Like, you should go to a third or a half or something. Not the same penalty as if a ship I, Yeah, gone. I think that it should be... Uh, I, like, I'm not saying it should be more of a penalty, just that it should be more than when a you miss a ship. You could make a ship... Uh, make missing a ship cost less. It just should yes. be a bigger cost for getting hit. That's right. All. Yeah. Um, Random Terrain has low confidence. His breakout style game was brilliant. I couldn't convince him. Yeah, this game is great. Like, he, he should definitely continue on. Um, with this, with this game, um, with the uh, simple horizontal shooter, and he should give it a name too, or he can keep that name. <laughs> it kind of works, but it may not be simple in the end. Lost Cat, I think it's a nice balance. Yeah, it was really. I, I like Lost Cat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Between how hard it is finding stuff, there's a couple tweaks. I mean, one guy's too easy to kill, one guy's way too deadly. Like he goes and kills your. Like, he, you don't get to move away, and you're not invincible. Yeah, that guy's actually easy to kill, too. He is, at a distance. He, he's even easier to kill than the guy with the turret, because even though you were like, this guy's easy to kill, I saw you take damage from him many times. The easy guy. The easiest yeah. guy. The it, turret guy? The turret guy. Yeah, I did still. Yeah, I wasn't you still took up. damage from him. Whereas he's the, fine. Whereas the puddle guy... Um, Deadly at close Occasionally, range. you would get screwed by him, but, it, but he... As a bad guy, he was actually fine. He's because good. He, once you got him into the spot, you could kill him. Yeah. Yeah. It, it was just, the, you just the chud needed... was uh, the, actually the chud was chud's fine too. Fine. It's just that he's a hard guy. You just avoid him. <laughs> yeah, it's easy to avoid. Yeah. Which is fine. You can run away. There's always that option. Um, I think just the puddle guy's too deadly at close range. His yeah, melee he is did like, have stuff that stuff problem. Stuff he's, he basically works. Stuff it's stuff just stuff. that like. You went from full health to dead in what seemed like two hits. That's that was the only yeah. time I saw it happen, though. All, yeah. th th all the rest of the time, it seemed normal. All the rest yeah. of the time, it's he didn't seem to kill super quick. But that one time, it seemed like bam, bam, you're dead. Or he needs from to full. bounce away, or you need to bounce away, or you need yeah. to be invincible for half a second yeah, or yeah. something, and yeah. that would fix that guy. Yeah. But the rest of it, collecting the items, finding the cat, awesome. I love it, and the graphics were ooh, pristine. The graphics were, were amazing. Really good. Yeah, the graphics were amazing. And the three-quarter view where you could actually go in behind things. Oh, my God. That's that amazing. was pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. That's a nice touch. Castle of Doom. Perfect. I think it's totally balanced. Totally perfect. You if want... you like <laughs> platform games. I love platform games. So it, it was a great game for me. I very much enjoyed watching you defeat it. Oh, that's good. That works, that works too. Yeah. <laughs> if anything, you know, more levels, just like he's adding on. He just keeps adding and yep. tweaking levels. Yep. 36, maybe switch them around. Make that like the very last level of the whole game. You keep, po keep boosting that until you find a harder but one. But he did just make it harder. <laughs> yes, that's so, true. So, you know, like, if you just made it harder, then it's conceivable <laughs> that you... And accidentally made it too hard. Too hard. Yeah, I don't. Th I don't think it's too hard. It should re be that level. Just, Just keep yeah, yeah. it at the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Move it to the end. Yeah. Um, all the rest were nicely balanced. There was a nice wave. Hard, then easy. Hard, then easy. The last level's too. If they switched around, I think that might be a perfect ending. Yeah. To the game. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Awesome. Good. 
bow, bow to games again. I'm I'm continually impressed with the number of games being made and the quality of games. Oh, somebody already posted to Kuru Kuru. I don't think it's the person who made it though. No. Um, the quality of games and the frequency of games. Jared Gray West, thanks for the feedback. I may be get around to fixing up Lost Cat one of these days, but not until Spies 2, of course. Um, yeah, there's not much to do on yeah. Lost Cat. Just maybe those tweaks that we said, and that's it. Everything yeah, else was yeah. super awesome. Yeah. yeah. Good job, Jared Gray West. Yeah, I think that could be releasable um, almost as it is right now. Yeah, yeah. Um, I can't think of any more that you could add to it. Um, it has lots of stuff in it. Yeah, lots of stuff. I mean, I don't oh, know. Oh, the menu thing. You could add the menu, so... Yes. It doesn't have to be a separate menu, but just like... Um, it could be on the screen. It could be dots. Yeah. It could be a number to show how many items you have so far. Mm -hmm. Just so you're aware that you're still looking and not for the cat, and you're done. Or a, a meter, or a, you know, a bar like that. Yeah, an inventory. An inventory screen would be beautiful that you could switch back and forth. Mm -hmm. um, so that's it for today. I, I need to make the schedule for next Wednesday for what we're going to be playing, but I have a lot down below to choose from. Um, so we'll be back on Wednesday, 6 p.m., and then Friday again at 6 p.m. again. Yeah. Six or seven. We'll see how that goes. But Wednesday at six. And we're going to be do doing Wednesdays at six till the end of the year. Because of Erlen's new job. We uh, we used to do 11 a.m. That was like an amazing time. Everybody in North America and Europe could tune in. Yeah, Because yeah. it's nighttime in Europe. And, and it's just totally fine here too. Like 11 a.m. And apparently a lot of people don't have jobs. So, <laughs> so or they can tune in from wherever they are. But it was a lot of European people, because there's a lot of European programmers, um, apparently. Um, I loved the 11 a.m. stream. Yeah, so did I. Um, when does when did the fairies change? Or do they change for fall? Because you used to come at uh, 11, yeah. right? Um, the, uh, the fairy changes by 20 minutes earlier by next time. Yeah. Uh, and so I would get here at instead of noonish. It would it wouldn't be much different. Uh, it would be eleven thirty instead uh, of instead of twelve or whatever. Yeah, but we're hungry when you get here, right? That's oh, the problem. That's not a problem because no? I can eat on the ferry. Oh, could you? Oh yeah. Okay. That's not a problem. At all. I can I can start earlier. Bring back eleven a.m. streams. <laughs> well, we might be able to do it for every second Friday at least. Yeah. Um. So we'll maybe try that next time. That works for me. Goes. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. And do it at 12 or whatever. Whatever time it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I like doing even. So if we can't 12, do 11. 12, 12, makes, 12 makes better sense because uh, I'm not going to get here at 11.30 with time to spare. <laughs> exactly. You'd be yeah. running in, sitting yeah. down, and be crazy. So we'll try for the 12, and that's only every second Saturday. Friday, Friday. sorry. Every second Friday. The best kind of friday yes every and second friday 11 a.m really works well there's so many more people that are able to watch it so we'll do we'll do 12 and that should catch all those same people um only things that are coming up portland retro gaming expo that's in, on the 19th and that ooh, that's your friday damn it that sucks so darcy won't be back for four weeks that's that's terrible. What's happening? The, sorry, you're where are Away. you? Away. I'm in Portland. Portland. Uh, uh, Retro yeah. Gaming Expo. Oh, so we won't be able to try that out till November 2nd. <laughs> it's the first noon show. And I might not be here then. Oh, my God. I can't remember if it's... <laughs> no, I think it might be December. Uh, we have a, a, oh. a gaming weekend. Okay. Yeah, like role playing. Like a 24-hour? No, that's oh. that's also coming. But. <laughs> <laughs> Temple Runner, yes, it had all been. F Ooh, it's not quite fixed. He did fix it up, um, but it should be ready by Wednesday. It's just a transition between level three and floor four. It makes my setup go goes and freezes and dies. So we're very close to getting Temple Runner um, working again. So that's 
probably on Wednesday. Might I'll be able to schedule that for. Um, yeah, Portland Retro Gaming Expo is the 19th to the 21st, so on that Friday, I'm already in Portland by then. Um, and I can't really game and do a stream unless there's Wi-Fi there. I could do it on my phone and do a short Twitch live stream. <laughs> we'll see how it is. I don't think there's any Wi-Fi there that I will have access to at the at the convention center. And if, if you do, it, it probably won't be high quality. Not at three do you megabits still have per your, second. Do you still have your um, uh, unlimited uh, uh, cell? No, service? that never. It wasn't really ever unlimited. It was five gigs. No, in the U.S. it was unlimited. Well, Are you on wind? Yeah. Yeah, it's five gigs in Canada, unlimited in the U.S. No, I hit the limit in the U.S. You did? When I went to New York. Yep. Oh. And then it ramped it down. You said it was unlimited roaming. It is unlimited. Yeah, but you But can... it ramps it down to a... You can't even browse web page speed. Yeah, but how quick... How long are you going to be there? Not long, so... So you could use... I could do it. You could do it on that. Yeah, I'll try out the speeds and just <laughs> make it low. You know, make it not three megabits per second. Like, do it to one, which is totally fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll do some tests. Maybe I can do a stream on my phone. I'll calculate, see how long I can do it. It'll be like a half an hour. I'll do it at the Atari Age booth. Go around and show the demos off. Yeah. Hey, that good works. idea. Yeah. Woo! Good idea. So maybe there will be one on Friday. Um, and I'll check out the Wi-Fi. If it, there is Wi-Fi there, I doubt it. Um, <laughs> but if there is, it won't be It'll very be saturated good Yeah, it'll be with everyone else doing that. Yeah. Yeah, but I'll see what I can do. At worst, I will be able to do it over the cell. And, yeah, I'll be able to do something. So I will post about that maybe at 11 a.m. Depends on what I'm doing. Um, anything else coming up? We've got a Halloween show on the 31st. That is a Friday. Um, we're doing a whole bunch of Halloween games. No, it's a Wednesday. Um, so I found a, there's not very many Halloween games, but I found a couple. Um, we're doing some, um, holiday themed, Christmas themed, um, games in December. I'll have to add up how many of those are. So I might do three shows, two shows of that. We'll see. Um, then there's some other games coming up as well dan kitchens games keystone capers 2 and bon voyage whenever he is ready with that um yeah i think that's it for now so tune in next uh wednesday at 6 p.m and uh we'll see you then and play some more awesome homebrew um so thanks for everyone tuning in arena foot mojo filter 2 ground trooper uh jared gray west ice posta uh la, 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 la splendid nut who else said all these names i know there's thrust 26 somewhere in here thrust 26 and that is the end of my scrolling oh cheap cheap and out and i know this is local too because it, when you go away from this page and go back again it starts from scratch and you can't scroll back so what my computer has lots of memory for text <laughs> terrible <laughs> terrible anyway play a very 2600 christmas songs before the show oh good idea yes um good show thank you very much jerry gray west thank you to everyone who tuned in and we will see you uh next wednesday on zero page homebrew bye bye ciao and gretums bye <laughs> <laughs>